Uh, are we live? Uh, are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with Terraria. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Am I still muted? I think we're good now. Fantastic. Okay. Valdak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and here we are back in Terraria land. What was that? What? I right click on myself and it... Oh. Oh, it's changing the setting on the on the phone. Cool, cool, cool. If they're able to have secondary uses for items, I really wish they would have um, the old style of throwing the magic missile type spells, um, where you had to manually click for each attack. Um, because obviously it's not that great when I'm doing the round the corner thing, when I instantly and automatically waste a whole lot of mana. By shooting this thing into the wall. But I love the new style, DPS wise. Um, okay, what do we got here? Eyeball statue, get in there. Uh, what we have basically is a world pretty much ready for hard mode. And no idea how I'm going to kill the wall of flesh. I do have a couple of ideas. Um, I did farm the queen bee a little bit more to get some, uh, bee nades. We're actually able to throw those surprisingly quickly. So I was thinking maybe I'd get even more and try to kill the wall of flesh super quickly. Um, we're definitely a lot better off with the hornet stuff. As far as pinging the randomly spawning imps goes. Um, and I was trying to use the bee's knees. Of which the best role I've got so far is godly. Um, to deal some ranged damage and spam bees at the, at the queen. Um, but I'm not sure how good... The ranger style is, honestly. We'll give it another try. And I think I've had enough of this, um... Mermaid costume. Let's put that away for the moment. Maybe I'll put on something else. Or merman costume. Okay. Let's grab ourselves some... Necro gear. And should I use the hive pack? Perhaps. Yeah, probably. Alright, we got movement, movement, regen, movement, movement, hive pack. Menacing times three, warding times three. I think we need more menacing, honestly. The, the problem last time wasn't that we died, it was that we didn't have enough damage uh, in the end. What? That's not a horseshoe. So let's see if we can get a menacing version of this. How much gold do I have? 24? I don't think it costs too much to reroll this one. 4 gold? Ouch. Now I've got 2 warding. Uh, I'm going to lose all my gold again, aren't I? I've never had to do so much re-rolling so early in the game, relatively. Let's put this away for now. Um, and I was thinking if I can't... If I try and try and try and can't actually kill the wall of flesh... 
without changing anything about the environment. Um, I might actually just put a teleporter right about here. Once the terrain uh, going through the demon town gets a bit nasty and have it come out, I don't know, I guess it would have to be here actually. And we'll just wait there for the wall of flesh. Hopefully without imps constantly spawning the entire time. Um, I don't think grav potions... Uh, the reason I have the grav potions is I was killing the queen bee. That's why I had the mage set on, actually. I'll, I'll see if I can do it without topping up these grenades. Um, and we're not going to be using the space gun for now. Let's put that away. Um, I guess we may as well have magic damage. Grav potion... Oh yeah, I remember Grav potion and featherfall actually helped a surprising amount. Uh, what else? Obsidian skin? It's not like we're dipping in the lava for more than seven seconds. Hunter potion doesn't really do anything. Archery potion, absolutely. I need some more of these. Let's get ourselves an archery potion, or 14. Some more regen, iron skin, swiftness, why not? Uh, these are fine. I don't really need the shine potions downstairs, but I don't want to run out and have to replace them. Uh, we definitely need damage reduction. Uh, and extra damage. Apparently I don't... Oh, here we go. Rage Potion. Inferno Potion really doesn't do that much, and I find it very distracting. Titan Potion for the knockback. I don't know if knockback really helps. I think the bees stick to a target the same or better without the knockback. Oh, and of course we want an extra minion. Let's get some more summoning potions. Varigrated. Oh no, I need to fish for this. Let's do it quickly. I don't think I can fish this, these things up here, can I? I still haven't had a single double cod. I don't know if that's just bad luck. As long as we're fishing, we may as well check if there's a fishing quest. Let's chuck our jungle crate in here. It's caught in sky lakes. I think I had a teleporter to a sky lake. There we go. This won't take long. I think I need some more feathers as well. Okay, the Hornet DPS leaves something to be desired. Oh, there's our cloudfish. Perfect. Nope. Fantastic. And we get nothing too exciting. I guess that's not surprising right now. Um, but what I really need... Well, I guess I could attempt the Wall of Flesh one more time before we go fishing for this stuff. Because I don't have a quick way to get there. For some underground jungle fishing. I wonder if this is deep enough to count. That'd be worth a try, actually. 
I want to find out. I guess we'll use the shine potions at least. And away we go. Is that it? Alright, let's try fishing here. I think it's a big enough pond already. If I get a single variegated large fish down here, we know it's working. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. You too. Wasn't too bad. There we go. Variegated love fish. Cool. It turns out our fishing spot for the underground jungle is actually pretty easy to reach. I could probably still add, like, a teleporter to this. Straight from the jungle house. I ate too much. Fair enough. Okay, one more lardfish would be nice. I should drain this water down here. Make the pond a bit bigger. I don't know if this is 300 tiles. I have my doubts. Fishing power is... It says 100? I thought I saw negative 19%. I think that means the pond isn't functionally max size. Ow, rude. Oh my god, I can't even see it. I thought it was a bee, but that was one of my bees. Let's just dig down like this. That'll do. So now fishing power should say not negative, I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like that counts. Let's block this up. Don't want any jungle slimes coming through or something. Alright, summoning potions. Let's go. More than four, please. That is technically more than four. And I'll put the balloon puffer fish. I've actually already got like three here. That is a lot of treasure magnets. I should probably sell some. <laughs> I I don't think we need this many, and I think we've been shown that they're fairly easy to acquire. Five gold each? Okay, yeah. I'll leave a couple in there. And what was I going to re-roll? Uh, oh yeah, the other balloon. I wanted to swap it from warding to menacing. Since our main problem is deeps. Well, it, I do have a warding one. I, now I have two warding again. And again. Okay, rip gold. You're joking. Oh no, I picked up the wrong balloon. Uh... No. <laughs> Why did this have to happen? Uh, how many of these tally counters do we need anyway? Let's try one more time. Sell, sell, sell. Don't sell that. Menacing or warding. I'll take either now. Nope, that's it. And don't tell me, it went straight back to hasty. <laughs> so we still don't have a decision to make between these two balloons. Okay, I guess we're going up against the wall of flesh with Worse gear. That's cool. 
Why is the apprentice bait not getting quick stacked? There we go. And apparently I have no gold in my safe. Um I need these golden keys in case I find that that slime that's trapped in a chest. Actually, what I should have done by now is buy another safe and put it in the piggy bank. Okay. Almost 7,000 arrows should probably be enough. I think we're pretty much ready. Oh, I need a guide voodoo doll. I guess I could swap this out for like... Uh, no, double jump is too good sometimes. Or maybe the... Stinger Necklace? Nah. Why do I have red here? I never use this. Let's put it away for now. Put it on the fishing gear. Okay. Consider this the warm-up round. I should really get some honey. Where even is it? I could follow this rail twice. Oh. That's a big B. And in we go. Alright, give me honey. And then... I need to regen, actually. Let's sit here for a second. Okay. Defense regen, damage, summon, heart reach, archery, light, movement. I could add a red potion to the mix, but it's probably a waste. Uh, food, magic, grav, featherfall. Not that I'm going to use magic too often. That seems fine. Let's try. Oh, and I want to try to use the grenades as much as possible, as early as possible. Oh, and uh, one more summon. much damage in before the imps give us trouble. Ow. Okay, this is a lot of damage. I will admit that. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Too much. Let's get some distance. Let's get some honey regen real quick. Could you not? Oh my god. How did... I didn't even see how I lost so much health just now. No! I should have grabbed. I forgot just how much quicker the imps fire their fireball after they spawn. 
So I basically have to move stochastically before they even appear. <sighs> well, I haven't run out of any of the potions that we need to try that again, since I just fished up some varigrated. But I did use most of my bee nades. Uh, or like half of them, maybe. I'm going to have to kill the queen bee to try that again. But yeah, getting in close with the bee nades early on before there's too much to dodge to get a head start seems like a good idea. Let's do our summons. Oh, I can't even try again yet because the guide hasn't appeared. Alright, I guess let's try killing the Queen Bee while we wait. I only got four voodoo dolls left, but they're not exactly hard to come by in this seed. I wanted to remove the Featherfall for the Queen Bee fight. Alright, let's try that. This will be a bit more of a warm-up. Don't want to underestimate her, though. Why have I got a weather report on... Wait. Yeah, why is this my fishing information? On my primary loadout. Oh, it doesn't... You're kidding. It doesn't do that based on loadout? That kind of sucks. That's the wrong one. I've gone too far down. The guide is actually back. Alright, I'll skip the... Um... I'll skip the queen bee for this moment. As soon as we're almost full health. Back we go. Grab a guide, voodoo doll. Get a speed buff. And go. And we're already dodging imp fireballs from a direction I can't even see the imps. One more hornet would be good. I want to get close for the grenades again, but it's obviously a little sketchy. Can't hit that imp. What? How did that hit me? What? Give me some honey. Oh, I don't have my feather fall this time either. Rip. Need more damages. I need to get him down to like half before we get to the demon town. out. Don't care about 20 damage. Okay, I think we're doing okay for damage. So staying a bit closer does help. The grenades really help. I think we ran out of them though. That's not great. Now 
Now I have to get super careful. And here we are in Demon Town. Time to really keep our distance and just make sure we dash through before the imps trap us. That was always going to hit me after I noticed it. Can I heal? I can. Fantastic. Don't think those bees are going to tag that guy, but we can try. Let me up. Okay. Okay. Don't think we're hitting the wall a whole lot with these arrows, but who cares? The main thing is to get through the demon town alive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? Let me up. Oh. <sighs> Dodge inputs. Double tap is a very poorly designed dodge input. <sighs> well, I'm going to have to farm uh, B grenades again. I need to kill the queen like three times, I think, to get a reasonable supply of bee nades for one fight. And I don't particularly want to fight her with a ranged set. Let's put this on. I'll hold on to the ranged stuff though. I think I will use bees, however. What should I swap? Double jump? No, double jump's way too important for dodging sometimes. I don't think the bees matter that much. Um, I don't need an extra summon for this one. Don't need to take a guide voodoo doll. Uh... Don't really need archery potions right now. Don't really need endurance and rage for this fight. Just a flame lash for the most part. May as well grab the space gun. Alright. Oh, I need a thing to summon the Queen Bee. Do I have enough... Honey block, hive, bottled honey, and stingers. And I think we need an anvil? Uh, we need... Required objects, none. Oh, I'm one short on honey blocks? Well, that's rude. That means I'm going to have to go and make some. I guess I could take it from here, as long as I don't deplete this honey entirely. Um, it's not like I'm going to use this for honey fishing. This hive is a good source, I suppose. Not mess around too much with the jungle. Wowee, so with Arenalus you can't even dig a path through the apartments? I have a little bit, but it was in one spot in particular. Oh, I think I literally just removed the doors or opened them. Because here, there would be a door here, an imp would spawn here, and I literally couldn't 
tag it quickly enough for it to not do me. Mad Dame Salsa, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The arenalist thing obviously has some grey area. And I'm going to try to avoid going too dark into that grey area as much as I can. If I have to compromise at all. Um, like, I do end up digging some paths through the jungle before fighting Plantera. Whether I mean it as preparation or not, for example. Uh, what am I doing here? I need honey blocks. I think I have a limitless water bucket. Fantastic. Oh, I can stand on the water, but then I'll just fall through it as soon as the slightest change occurs. Okay. This is enough for... Uh, 11 summons of the Queen Bee. That's probably enough for now. Uh, and I don't even need a crafting station. We're actually out of Hive. Oh, I can do six more summons. With what I've got. But why don't we get a little bit more? Makes more honey anyway. Why do I have a mace. Where do I have a mace? Is it in my void bag or something? It is. So I can handcraft stuff. That's rude. I can handcraft stuff while things are in the void bag? That's kind of neat. Alright, let's go to our usual... Queen Bee Natural Pseudo Arena. That's not where I want to go. Spawn. And we're now Mage Set because Flame Lash for the win against the Queen Bee. Both for single target and for area. Piercing. Alright, I think we're ready. Hope we're ready. Seems good. came straight at me from off screen. That's not going to be good. There we go. Oh my god, what did I even land on? This is a private battle. Shoo. Think it, oh no, 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 really? I didn't go down here because there was a slime, and then she just comes straight from off screen into my face. Uh, another round of potions gone for no good reason. What's this? Spiked jungle slime banner, yes please. 
overpowered little gits. I'm having trouble thinking of something that packs more power into such a common and tiny and harmless looking package. Oh, I went past it. In before a vine spawns before I even get up here. Okay. There he is again. Can't go anywhere. That fight should have been in the bag. And then just one poorly placed slime. Or a very well placed slime, depending on how you look at it. Okay, so whenever she does that big circle, I have to be really careful about where she probably is without even being able to see her. Like this. Oh, really? Okay. Double dash parry, not bad. Just in time. Okay, that was rude. she's gone I think okay 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 all right once more with feeling while well, we've still got our buffs how many mana potions do I have plenty Shield of Cthulhu is OP. This is going very smoothly. Nope, 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 nope. That last phase. Should probably regen a little bit before I go again. Getting there. Oh, is that the. I don't have time to open you. Slime in a chest. I 
to get stuck in there. I wonder if there's something more I could do to prepare for the very last bit. Oh, that was dumb. Should heal while I can, not when I need to. This works. Swap gravity and dash backward right after each dash. Sets her up to miss the next one. Oh, do I have a key? No. Never mind, it's gone already. Get out of here, slime. Let's do it again. Keep up the time efficiency. That was poor timing, but I didn't get punished. does have a lot of health in this version, uh, this seed. Dashing into her is fine before the end, when she'll dash too quickly. six of these left. How many grenades are we going to have out of this? I wonder. We've got four kills. Should be way more than enough for one wall of flesh, even if I were to spam nothing but uh, B grenades. B grenades. spike slimes. I should just ignore them. It's not worth worrying about the damage of running into them compared to the queen bee. Well, not ignore them in terms of don't kill them, just don't worry too much about hitting them. That'll do it. That's a good that's a good movement pattern for that phase. Thank you, Velvac. Alright, can we get five more in a row? Or will my concentration fade? I think this is pretty good a pretty good warm up, honestly. Oh, 
Oh, that felt weird. I tried to combine the inputs. Uh oh, uh oh, nope, 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 I got stuck, I got stuck. Okay, okay, I think we got her. Luckily, luckily she doesn't completely stick to that berserker attack pattern in the last little while. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed it is. Okay. Once more. I think I'll stop after this one, even though we've got three left. Oh, it just got darker. Where is she? She's gonna charge now-ish? No? That's not gonna cut it. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. I think that's enough of that for now. Let's go back. Uh, seven treasure bags is gonna net us, let's see, 150 bee wax. And 150 B nades directly. That's good. Uh, let's grab our grenades. And I think we need an anvil. Oh, cool. that is 300 B nades. Honestly, not as much as I was hoping for, considering the number of times we killed her. What was that, seven? All up? Um, let's put this away... in here, I guess. Am I not keeping... there it is. Ah, uh, some item farming, indeed. Bee name... bee nades for waffle? Yes. Uh, we can also sell some of this stuff... We've already got a menacing hive pack. Normally, I never even think about... Oh, money. Oh, stuff to sell. But... Uh, For the Worthy really cranks up... The need for some powerful gear. At the stage where you're still... Not able to earn money without even trying. Keep the banners. Keep one of each type of pet. Be minecart. Cute. What do we got? Oh, 1.52 plat. Hell yeah. Alright, let's try getting a menacing balloon. Menacing. Yes, fantastic. Um, and I might try getting an Unreal Bee's Knees. I believe I've got a spare 
or two back here. I should have more than two after killing the queen bee that many times. But apparently not. Oh no, we've got... Yeah, yeah, there it is. We've got a demonic, a godly, and a ruthless. Can this even have unreal? Yeah, it must. If we can have... I've seen speed buffs on it. And if we can have damage critical and knockback, then this can definitely be unreal. How much gold do we have left? 1.2 plat. Unreal. Hurry up. Unreal. At this rate, we're not going to get it. Hayaku. Yes. Danke. Alright. Only plus 13% damage? Bruh. Oh well. That is literally just the same thing, but with velocity. I probably shouldn't have bothered. Okay. Let's put away these banners. Can't remember where they go. Um, and we'll want ranger set. Big bees. Grenades. Guns. Where are my grenades? In here. 301. And put the mage armor over here again. Unfortunately, you can't put a gun on. Uh, mannequin. I would love to do that. Make a couple more of these heart lanterns. Why not? I could dot heart lanterns along the bottom here. It wouldn't make that much difference, and I'd need a lot of them. And that would arguably be like making an arena, considering the amount of effort that would have to go into it. Alright. Archery potions. Let's sell this stuff. Whatever. Uh, Featherfall, Grav... Are we out of Grav? We're very low on Grav. Let's do something about it. Uh, what did we run out of? Blink Root. That's actually fine. Oh, hello. Ladybugs. Don't mind if I do. Here's our blink root. And replace. Still only like 30. It's not bad, I guess. Alright, how many grab potions did we get? Ten? Let's get a couple more. Um, we'll want extra minion. Hunter doesn't really do anything. Magic, sure, why not? Defense, damage, or crit. Featherfall. That's about it.
I've tried the calming potion, it doesn't do anything against the imp spam. Alright, I'm not going to be more prepared or warmed up than I am now. Let's go. Oh great, oh great. Wombo combo right off the bat. Okay. That's fun. I guess we're keeping our distance at first. So much for the early damage. Don't get hit by the fireballs. Nothing else really matters. How far are we? Kind of far. Oh my god. Shoot. The arrows really aren't that fast, just even with uh, Unreal. Health's good now, let's get some damage in. That's not good. Uh, we do have it down to half health already. That is good. And I should stop walking into lasers. They might combo me onto an imp. Oh. I was trying to... Oh, God. I was trying to get to the lava quicker so I could go up again quicker. Should have just used a grav. These imps, though. Alright. Let's get through the town. We've actually got it down to less than half health, so I'm feeling like it's okay to just don't even worry about trying to do damage um, while we're here. At all. I could throw some bees back, I guess. Oh, come on. Did I at least... I think I did take contact damage from that. Just teleport right in front of me while I'm already moving. In this tricky little spot. Much easier when we're not surrounded by imps. Uh, where's the way through? Oh god, oh no. Oh no. Don't go up there or we die instantly. I think we've got a lot of distance now. Yeah. That might be making the imp spawn less. There's still a couple of deadly bottlenecks we have to get through. Okay, they're really not spawning much. Never mind. That's four imps in a second. Never mind. Is 
Is this... no. Still got a ways to go yet. See, I'm not just shooting the bees at anything. I'm, I'm shooting it where the, the imps might appear. This is really, really, really bad. Okay. Still got at least a few more demon buildings to go. Something like 7 to 10. Okay. As long as we tag them first, they can't attack. That could have been really bad. Oh god, oh no. Please die. Please hurry up and die. Thank you. Okay, this is actually it. Alright, this is where we wait and try not to get lulled into complacency and hit by random fireballs from below the lava. It's actually pretty difficult to wait here. Oh god, how am I this low? Okay. Oh, come on! Could you not appear at the perfect angle while I'm dodging other things? I'm trying to look at the map. I can't even retaliate at them there. When can I heal? Nine seconds? Okay, I see wall of flesh things. Let me through. Holy crap. No, don't. Uh, okay. I have to recover. I have to get closer to the wall of flesh. I have to deal more damage. Otherwise, we're going to run out of time. Okay, we're at full health, although I did use a potion. That was a little too aggressive, arguably. One could make that argument. When can I heal? 23 seconds? My imps are... T not imp, uh... My little bees are terrible at hitting those worm enemies. That was almost the end. I can barely hear the wall. It's a little bit far away. Health's decent. Health is no longer decent. Almost ran into that. I'm gonna run out of time at this rate. I need to get closer, I need to grenade it, but I just can't get around the imps. Oh, great. Nine seconds to heal. I'm gonna have to start being braver. It's gonna come closer anyway from being low on health. Oh, wow. Um, I had less time than I thought. That went well, except that the imps camping me as I'm waiting for the wall sooner or later are going to get a good angle. And it's an endurance match as well for me, mentally. Trying to hang around here, 
dodge fireballs from every direction, including directions that I can't retaliate against, that deal over 100 damage each, with no hesitation after teleporting, less than half a second. Probably. It's actually, like, uh... If I stay closer to the wall, going through the demon town, I'm going to die. If I camp here, waiting for the wall, the imps are going to teleport all around me. And there's like a 70% chance after literally just, what, 10 minutes of fighting the wall or something? Oh, yeah, thank you, that's, that's fair. I should definitely be vulnerable inside this room. Perfect, I came into a death. I am this guy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It teleported the nanosecond I spawned? Really? Please just let me get out. At this rate, I'm going to die before I can use the shell phone. No, not good. Those imps are just too much. And I don't mean they're too difficult as much as too annoying. That's a lot of obsidian roses. Wow. More than half is Demon Town. This is a hard fight. Yeah. Devil's Dandruff. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Ah... <sighs> When I got it down to like 45% before we even hit the first demon town, I thought, yeah, we can definitely do this. But... There's a lot of luck, endurance, and fatigue involved in being in a good enough position to continue fighting the wall here. And also, some of the terrain through this area is actually pretty damn nasty compared to on the right. Maybe I should go from left to right. That might actually be a significant improvement. We get this big open area to start with when we're not that scared, and then some cover back here. Chronox, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. For all that, I went through le uh, just over 2,000 arrows since I last checked. I only went through less than 100 beanies, so at least we don't have to farm those again yet. I'm skeptical about the bees' knees. You have a good Christmas? Yeah, not bad. Caught up with some people. Maybe I should take... Uh, the tr Okay, this is, a, this is a problem with Terraria. I want to use different ammo with different weapons. Um, you know, I want, I want to use wooden arrows with the bee's knees. And... What are they called? Unholy arrows with the strongest bow that I've got. And I want to do it without having to shuffle this in the middle of a fight. As it is, you just have to switch between, like, guns, bows, and rockets instead. Hmm. I really do want the ranged set for the beanie damage. I'm 
some more of these. Why not? While I'm thinking. That's a lot of five uh, ladybugs. I think I basically just have to be a lot more aggressive, lucky, and able to keep dodging. I could try Summoner. I don't think I've actually tried Summoner, have I? I probably did. It's worth a try. Um, and does it have to be at night to buy the... It does. For the plus one minion. I only actually get plus three minions, in, or plus two minions in total from accessories if I go summoner. There's also the Stranglethorn Whip. Or, what is it called? Snap? Snap something whip? The, dra uh, the jungle whip. That I forgot about. Probably made out of this stuff. Ivy whip. Snapthorn. It's not as much damage as Spinal Tap. But, or range for that matter, but it's faster and... Strike enemies to gain whip attack speed. And I think that's just... Like, I can use a different whip with that attack speed. Uh, let's get a reroll on it. Or maybe I should just make another one to try. No, nope, this is pretty cheap. Savage, damage size, knockback. That's a good start. I don't have that much gold. I'll keep that one as a spare. And we'll re-roll the annoying one, nice and cheap. Well, those are some bad rolls. Those are some very bad rolls. Demonic? I think I prefer Savage. Oh, rip all of my gold again. But I think I would go... Probably one, two. How long does the buff last? Turn off my minions for a sec. We can find something to whip. I just went through the entire desert without finding a single vulture. Here we go. Uh, two seconds. It, it, it looks more like three seconds. Yeah, it's like three seconds. So... Looks like you can get eight whips out of this for switching. It's not bad. And I think it also poisons or something. Oi. It's actually easy to switch between the two for once as well. That's going to be pretty effective against the Hungry, I think. Oh, 
Oh god. Except if my minions focus the hungry, they're not gonna be hitting the um the imps. Maybe we can just make up for it with damage. Go for fire imps. Maybe I should go. Maybe I should have at least one hornet. And it'll be a lot more likely to hit the. the enemy imps. Oh, why is it so dark? I see. Time is at 4.15. Do I want to change my accessories or anything? Well, we're not using the bees. Uh, maybe the stinger necklace? A bit of regen when we take a bit of damage. Oh, right. I need to... I need to leave a slot for the plus one minion, definitely. We can have one more with the accessory and one more with a potion for a total of five. Maybe I should just go for five imps. And I can try whipping the... Uh, whipping the imps myself. The enemies. Let's do a little fish while we wait a couple of minutes. Caught in honey. That one I don't have a quick path to. In fact... I guess... Uh, I'd have to go all the way to our Queen Bee boss fight arena. I may as well. Got a few minutes. Get a feel for these minions, this, uh, this loadout. Oh, I thought I could dash on the rail for a second. Ow. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, the DPS on this is surprisingly good. Okay. That is actually a lot less honey than I thought it would be. Let's make some more. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god, I could actually die. I could actually die to bees if I did this, even though I'm swinging pickaxe and I have minions. Alright. I, I don't... I think that's still probably not enough honey to get good fishing. you stop. Maybe I should use honey fins for potions. Longer cooldown, but bigger heal. Same heal per second overall. 
Uh, I think I like being less reluctant to use my healing potions. Also, it takes time to fish these things up. It's only because we've got, like, maxed out fishing that it's not painfully slow. What did we just get? Bottomless honey bucket. Nice! Don't have to go out of our way for honey anymore. I'll be taking that. Oh, and I think we can combine all of these. Uh, do I need this open or... Hang on. Material... Only the water bucket is a material? How does this work? Oh. Nope. Unlike the sponges, etc., we can't actually combine those. They're going to have to take up three inventory places. Can combine only sponges? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's put our honey fin in here. I'll just double check. I'm pretty sure there's only one, two uses for it. Yep. And what's this? Not so lost in paradise? That is a big, big painting. I think I got that as a fishing quest reward, so I'll put it in here. Oh. We already had one. Should put these away. Did I really not have these types of gravestone markers? Here we go. Oh, mystic. Oh, we already have mythical or something. No, we don't. This is superior. What's the best bee gun we have in here? Nimble, superior... Godly is only on plus 11. Well, mana cost really isn't an issue with the bee gun, so... Uh, I think the mystic is actually less exciting. Mythical would be nice. Just sell these. For someone who will pay top dollar. I can actually make a magic mirror these days. I don't recall ever needing any Shiverthorn, but we may as well grab some. It's always blooming, but it takes a while to grow. Okay. Don't think we need an archery potion. Oh, who knows, I might spam a couple of bees at the target. Um, this seems fine, honestly. Oh, I was waiting for night so I could buy this. Pygmy necklace. And can we afford to re-roll it? Probably not. Angry? That's almost as good as it gets, honestly, considering we need damage above all else right now. Almost perfect. Okay. 
feel like I should have a practice run against something else with this gear set, but... Whatever, let's just go. Don't think I even want the Titan Potion. Because I want the targets to be stuck in place as I whip them. Alright, hopefully this is a whole other level of damage. Gunk. Um, okay. I know we had a zombie banner, but that's a good sign, I guess. Getting low on some of these potions. We got bees knees, bee nades, double whip, obsidian set, menacing, menacing, angry, menacing, defense, defense. Uh, we will have a trap of five minions once I drink this. Put this over here, actually. Plenty of mana potions, not that I'm even using them. Lots of health potions. I think we're about as ready as we can be. Alright, may as well try. Again. Anticlimactic. And we're already getting wrecked. Okay. Oh, good. A demon coming up behind me. Yes, please. Good. Fantastic. Thank you. Yes. More fireballs. I, I, I want to not be able to see the screen for fireballs. Perfect. Spawn right behind me as I'm already landing on you. Yes, thank you. That's what I want to see. That's fair. Tough but fair. Oh, I forgot I don't have my pistol. The imps aren't exactly sniping the wall of flesh right now. I can just hold it down. That makes it a little easier. Every time I try to get close enough to deal proper damage, I get swamped by imp fireballs in two seconds, though. Okay, health's relatively good. Let's try and do this thing. Oh, there's no imps around. Although, some of those are my imp fireballs, and I can't tell which ones are which. You can you can see the difference, but it's a bit much with that much going on. Okay. Need some honey. What? That was not one of my imp's fireballs, was it? Was it a fireball? Yeah, I didn't even see it coming. Having the minimap on probably didn't help there. Okay, we have to go away from here, otherwise 600 things will spawn before I can even get ready. Uh, I've run out of rage potions as well. That seemed pretty useless, honestly. Probably tried it before. Theoretically, the imps... Like, if the imps focused the wall of flesh, long-range fireballs that pierce through everything it would have been perfect. But they try to shoot the imps that they can't even get line of sight to around them instead. And if I go close enough to use the webs, which do have excellent DPS, I get surrounded by fireballs. 
Some of which I realize in hindsight were mine, but there's too many of them to have a look at them all and check which is which. We're actually too full on these obsidian roses. They are a difficult to find bottleneck for Terra Spark boots, but I don't think we need more than two or three spare. What do we get? Three gold. That's pretty sad, actually. Maybe if I use a different kind of minion? Just so that I don't have the fireballs cluttering up the screen while I'm trying to dodge fireballs? That is a pretty poor reason to have to switch to what should be an inferior minion for this fight. I do have vampire frogs. I wonder if they could actually deal some proper damage. Or whether they'll spend all their time just flying around. They were really, really bad at going after the imps. But if they get on top of the wall of flesh, maybe they'll deal a lot more DPS. That probably means me having to be really close to them, though. Let's see what these guys can do without me even touching anything. That's not great, honestly. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should just stick with the hornets because they're good at pinging the imps. And I don't confuse their projectiles. For fireballs. I need to fish up some rage potions. I think Hemo Piranha is the one we're after. Could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, Crimson Tigerfish gives us Heart Reach potions. They're more common. Alright, that'll do for now. That's not. I should build a teleporter here, because when I think home, I do not think here. Spawn. Maybe next time, though. Three gold 46 versus... Four gold 43. These two are the same. Give me those... They already quick stacked them. Heart reach. And rage. Why no rage? What did I run out of? Oh, water bubbles. Okie dokie. Bottle. How do you play with such small hands? 
uh, with great difficulty. Bottled water. And we're good for another 900 potions. So about 10 minutes. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Wait. Didn't we have more of these? Oh, I consumed a bunch of them. Or used them. There we go. We've got a whopping three rage potions. And plenty of heart reach. Thorns may as well. Getting a little low on endurance potions. More than a little low on magic stuff. I don't know what I just ran out of here. Just don't stay too close to the monitor and ruin your eyes. Okie dokie. Even smaller mouths? What? Yeah, I don't think I will be using the vamp frogs for any boss fights, honestly. Should I try Summoner one more time? Or is it just that bad? Maximizing our number of hornets might not be the worst for dealing with the imps. And the imps are the main problem, the main reason why I can't get in tons of damage. And this does deal tons of damage. Okay, let's try. Oh cool, spawn right behind me underneath the lava where I don't see you and shoot me in the back. Yes, that's fair. Uh... Maybe if I drain all the lava from the underworld, that wouldn't be making an arena. Let me up, let me up, let me up, let me up. Oh my god, why? Okay. Maybe I should remove the... Uh, maybe I should add the anti-knockback shield. The little worm things don't drop hearts, um, it's a pretty stark difference from the normal game. Yeah, fireballs are going to come from above, they didn't for some reason. Okay, how am I supposed to focus on dealing damage to the boss when I've literally got an imp spawning just next to me, one second apart? Four in a row. I would like to know that. I haven't really done any damage to him. This isn't working. And I'm being pretty aggressive, pretty reckless as well. For the most part. I can't really even reach him.
Yeah, I don't I don't think this summoner setup is uh viable. I really don't. We're a quarter of the way down his hit points. And we've reached the uh the demon village. I may as well just concede Oh, there we go. <sighs> Maybe I need to they actually die in the lava? Well, that doesn't really help us. Maybe I need to go all menacing gear. Ranger. Bees knees. And maybe even carry the flaming bow and switch ammo types. So I can hit the eyes. Or maybe just use that bow and switch to the pistol to quickly tag the imps. In any case, to roll everything menacing, I'm going to need quite a bit of money. I guess I can tolerate crit chance instead on the Stinger Necklace. I'm not re-rolling the Terra Spark Boots. That's way too expensive a proposition, and one warding thing or two is good anyway. But I think I have a menacing shield. I do swap those around. Let's put the whip that is too short range over here. I kind of do like the whip for just a melee weapon for now though. I need... well I need to put away this armor. We're not going to be using the Pygmy Necklace. Unreal Molten Fury is pretty good. Maybe I should just accept wooden arrows. No, the whole point of a regular bow is to use these unholy arrows. So that I can pierce through everything and actually hit the wall. They're also as good as it gets damage wise in pre hard mode. If I'm spamming bees, it's gonna mean it's gonna be because I'm keeping my distance. In which case we have time to do this, I guess, theoretically, not really. Where's my pistol? Uh, where is my pistol? Here it is. Ruthless isn't too bad. Was that the best one I got? That's the Zappinator. Probably. It's not that much less damage on the bee's knees. Except that we kind of have to use wooden arrows for it. I mean, if we weren't, we may as well use the Molten Fury. Maybe I should just literally use the bee gun if I'm going to sp spam bees at long range. So I don't have to go to the trouble of swapping ammo types. I can't use the shell once we start the fight, so maybe I should put this here. left and came back, I think I finally got the joke.
haven't run out of buff potions just yet. I don't think the heart reach potions are worth it. I don't think I've seen a single heart pick up. Well, I've got a million of them, I may as well. I'll keep an I'll try to keep an eye out for that next time. So we are sticking with the hornets. No imps. If I'm gonna occasionally spam homing missiles, I should use the flame lash, I guess. Alright. Last voodoo doll before I have to start looking for them. Oh, and I need more summoning potions. One, bo one more B actually makes a significant difference. Well, it may or may not make a very significant difference, as it tags an imp before it fires. Could be the difference between life and death. Barricaded lodfish. Barricaded lodfish. Barricaded lodfish. That's a stinkfish. How dare you. I'm gonna need a fishing potion for this one. There we go. Can I get at least one more? For the trouble of coming here? There we go. Alright. Summoning potion. Quick stack. And bombs can go in here. Save those for a rainy day. I do wish the Wall of Flesh didn't arbitrarily reflect star cannon shots. That would be... that would be nice. Alright, once more with feeling. No, bad. No, let me out. Oh my, are you kidding me? Not like this. The knockback just going in a counterintuitive direction. I can't believe I survived that. Can I, do I not have more minions? No? This is going surprisingly well. <laughs> Especially considering the start. Okay, there are sometimes some hearts to pick up. The hungry have no chance of getting through these arrows. Ow. I'll come off it. This is so rude. I should probably be spanning bees from here. 
Okay, fireballs from every single direction. That's that's cool. Can't even retaliate against that one. Oh yeah, I said I was going to use the B gun. To just spam bees. Okay, our damage is surprisingly good. But just the spamming arrows and not really even being able to see our targets. I don't think I've actually tried this combination yet of simply spamming unholy arrows with our best normal bow, normal-ish bow, and counting on the bees to hit the imps for the most part. Oh god, okay, and they're not doing their job. Okay, alright. We're only down to like 55%, this isn't working. I'm going to have to try and fight the wall while we're in the demon town. We know how that usually goes. We do get more opportunities to use the grenades. I wish I knew what percentage of health he gets down to before he gets faster, because I would like to keep hitting him through here, but I really, really don't want to be dealing with fast wall of flesh while we go through Demon Town. I imagine it's about a third? Or does he get faster proportional to his health after some point? I knew the map just well enough. Oh, come on. This is where we die. This is how it happens. Just can't get past the randomly teleporting imps. There's just randomly no path, or there is a path. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They teleport here, it's basically over. Even so, I think trying to go through the demon town and not do any damage to the wall isn't working. Do it, that was so close. Yes and no. Um, we're not out of rage potions yet. Hardly used any bee nades. Plenty of arrows. And I actually have to look for a booty demon now. Which means probably we'll get a bunch of other ads appearing as we're trying to get ready. Oh, here he is. Here he goes. One more. One more minion.
it did tag that in. Ouch. The regen from the honey really does negate those little hits. I haven't done that much damage yet. Oh, I'm with it. I wish they were at least not allowed to spawn in the lava. It's kind of hard to see orange on red, the fireball coming at you from below. B time. I think I can count on the minions to at least tag that one. Nope. Should be using these here. the real problem though. Oh, that was silly. That hitbox though. Our 10,000th obsidian rose. Using the B gun with, uh, I mean the B arrow. Or what I mean. There's no drop with this arrow as well. That's nice. Could have been bad. Okay, that is bad. Yes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Not cool, actually. I hate this. Oh, God. And this is the part where I really need to try to rush ahead. Get away from the imps. spawn in front of me there, for example, it's all over. Oh! Literally a half block in the ceiling. Could have killed me. Okay, what have I got? 31 life? Not cool. I can't believe that little half block stopped me from moving to the left. Now I am out of summoning potions and rage potions. Both are easy enough to get, but... Oh, the guide's here already. Which means that I do have to waste time getting these uh, ingredients. Did he kill it? No. No, he did not.
I'm very tempted to dig through the demon town or make a teleporter or something. Vexor Navy Issue, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What if you just dug so you have a few paths? That seems fair instead of only one, maybe. Oops. Let's do a fishing potion, make the most of the trip. And use it in the jungle as well. drink. Okay, how many have we got here? Only... Oh, wow, six. Seven Hemo Piranhas, the, the more rare ones that we're looking for. That's pretty good. One more? There we go. Let's go to the jungle. I wish I could keep my momentum jumping onto the rail. This uh, fishing potion really does still make a pretty big difference, even though we've got all the accessories. Well, to be fair, we don't have, like, double, you know, tackle bag plus fishing earring, but uh, we're pretty close to the maximum possible fishing power. I like two more. Potions and rage potions. Fantastic. And I think I will go and make a mess of the demon town.
7 gold, 90 silver. Is that the best price? It is. So these two and the dwarf I can get maximum price out of. Alright, we're going to make some sticky bombs. And we're going to spread some Christmas cheer. To the demon town. Uh, I kind of want to start all the way to the left, though. Uh, all, all the way to the right, either way. Maybe it would have been easier... No, this is fine. When imps spawn now, I instinctively fear them a lot more. It's the most wonderful time of year, indeed. This isn't much of an obstacle, but why take chances? This one actually got us killed, believe it or not, because I found out the hard way that going one tile up into this space uh, is death. This place in particular has been quite deadly. It's still pretty dangerous to be honest. Let's let's make another layer. Is there a ghost here? Did I break a tombstone? That's probably it. Nope. I don't know how badly I need to make this wider. This part is definitely dangerous. This is basically... What? I had no idea I was in danger? Did I just get like two shot by a bat? I could barely even see? Uh, okay, apparently... Apparently bats are... Apparently bats are made of unobtainium in this seed. Something to bear in mind. I literally have no idea. 170 damage contact with a little tiny bat. Alright, so it does literally three shot us. 
That must have been it. rude to say the least. To have something that's the size of your head three shot you. Or more likely two shot you. This thing's not really an obstacle. will be fine. Oh, that actually blocks me. Good to know. Glad we didn't find that out the hard way. This is... oh, it's a vase, actually. Never mind. This part is pretty damn dangerous. Nope. Nope, nope. It doesn't look like it should deal damage, is the thing. It looks like a tiny baby. Rip Demon Town, indeed. It'd be like if those little... what are they called? Shine bugs in... Uh, it's almost like if those little shine bugs in Oxygen Not Included just suddenly ate one of your dupes. Let's go from the right, I guess. Give me that very short speed buff. I'm becoming way too familiar with that tree. I've never seen so many obsidian roses in all my life. I'll be taking that. Oh great. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was blocked from getting to it. Oh, this isn't, this isn't going to work. We're not going to drink potions in some vain attempt to survive this. If you hadn't noticed, my patience and care has been deteriorated. Give me some buffs. Why are you like this? We did... Wait, what? No. We must have already had a guide voodoo doll. I bet if I'd quickly switch to fishing gear that includes the magnet, maybe that wouldn't have happened. 
Maybe. Yeah, probably, actually. I probably would have died to the uh, lava, maybe. Or at least fallen into it. What does the cake do? Uh, it gives you 20% increased movement and mining speed for only two minutes. Speaking of enemies that have way too many hit points and damage in this seed. Don't just jack up the stats, make it do something interesting. I'll be taking that. Alright. This is obviously not much of an obstacle. Neither is this. I can kind of see it from the perspective of myself running from the wall better from here as well. I shouldn't have let that fall. Well, the main thing is that it's not there for when I... How the hell does that work? I don't understand how Ash works anymore. Okay. Could you stop throwing voodoo demons at me for two seconds? That would be much appreciated. This obviously needs to be bombed. It's not that hard to get through, but we could get caught out here. Oh no, not again. There was no guide, we're fine. Uh, maybe I should take a calming potion. And literally the second after I take it, is two more voodoo demons. Let's lure them over not lava. A third one? Okay. Alright, I see how it is. with these in the way. That's fine. Won't have to farm the dolls at least? Yeah. I didn't go out of my way to get them and I had like nearly 20 before I started fighting the wall of flesh. Oh, that's deceptive. Definitely want to have more than one level to run through here. Yeah, normally... It's no difficulty whatsoever to kill the Wall of Flesh before you get to the Demon Town. The hit points on this thing is insane. I think they expect you to make an arena, like make a flat bridge out of the entire underworld. Or almost. This is all fine. This part is not so fine. That's not what I wanted. 
Nor do I want you. I think I'm going to develop a muscle memory of switching to fishing after I kill a voodoo demon at this rate. Just for the uh, treasure magnet. Maybe I should just put the treasure magnet on my main set for the moment. Probably instead of the stinger necklace. Seems wise, as long as we're down here. Two hellbats. This part's not the worst to get through. Well, this part right here is. I need to remind myself not to get used to these weak, slow imps. Or rather, not overpowered imps. I don't like the unpredictability of Ash since the update. Be sand or don't. How much more demon town do we have left anyway? Quite a bit. Don't kill him over the lava, please. I should just get rid of my minions while I'm here. Why is there honey? How did I drop my honey? I didn't even press... Oh, was it the mouse wheel? I should just disable that. I have a shortcut key for all of these. Can I disable it? Controls. Cycle left, cycle right are unbound. So, no, it's hard coded. What are your shortcut keys? I was trying to figure that out for myself. Uh, let's see, I've got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, F, V, uh, Z is the map, mouse 5 and mouse 4 for these two. Still got H for healing. Uh, I think I changed consume mana potion to G or something. No. I haven't been using them manually for a while. Quick mana is G, but my mana was full. This building gotta go. You gotta go.
Feels weird having the magnet on all the time. I wish there was a potion to do this. So you didn't have to use a whole accessory for it. Or maybe even just a permanent upgrade would be nice. Just a quality of life thing. Alright. Don't think you can, I tried to, yeah. Yeah, context sensitive controls generally I do not like. I want one button or sequence of buttons to always do a certain thing. I mean, if it's, you know, press use on door or on a different thing, that's fine. But especially when games do not give you a shortcut key to select a certain weapon, that's the worst. Oops. Rip floor. just cut this. It's still a little sketchy getting through here versus the imps. You could jump over them, it should be fine. Probably. not have a gap this small, even if it's really quick and easy to get through. That'll do, I guess. This is so much prep. Well, for the worthy wall of flesh is so much OP. Well, the imps are anyway. Everything else is fine, from what I've seen. The imps and just its total hit points. Ow. This is a killer right here, or it, on average, could be. Oh, that almost comboed me. Is that it? Is that actually it? Are we done? Hey, let's grab some free fire blossom, why not? I don't really feel the need to bomb this part. And some of that's a bit of a problem, but it's fine. The demon town is the real problem. Alright. I think we'll stick with bows. I don't even really... I didn't even really use the pistol. Too many different types of weapons to switch to. I don't tend to remember them all. 
Let's grab some honey. That's not honey. Come to think of it, why am I not just using the... Hmm. I could use the bottomless honey bucket to heal myself with honey. But I can't, like, quickly make the honey disappear. It's going to slow me down. And I'm going to leave a bunch of honey all over the place, obviously. That might not be for the best, necessarily. Um, do I not have bait in here? Oh, that's our first magma snail. Well, not our first. I used them all up. What am I doing? Bottomless honey bucket. Alright, we're down to 3,000 arrows. Can we buy some more? Not that we're short. Uh, it's not late enough. We need to wait 12 seconds. I think we can manage. Clearing the way for the fight? Yeah. Unfortunately, I had to compromise. Alright, give me some more unholy arrows. My goodness, they're cheap. For how good they are. I may end up spamming some regular arrows to make bees still. Let's get our minions back. And should probably put the rest of these in, in the safe, perhaps, would be good. Apparently we didn't have any rock lobster in here. Um, I should definitely have my grenades in this slot. But we're mostly going to be using the Molten Fury, I think. Plenty of potions. Okay. For the millionth time, let's try. This should be a lot easier, though. We can actually just treat it like a normal wall of flesh fight, more or less. Somewhat. Except for the part where we could easily beat the wall of flesh just by staying far away and using the bee gun. Oh, don't forget to swap this out. And... we go. Just watch out for the imps. Nothing else really matters. Oh, there they are. Holy crap. Holy crap. They all appeared at once and shot fireballs from almost the same angle. Also, that rapid fire. Or is it multiple imps in one spot? I think it's multiple imps. Let's spam some... Oh, I was using the wrong bow. That's not off to a great start. Let's spam some bees until we heal a bit. The arrows directly aren't that weak, but of course they don't pierce. How did that not hit? At least by bouncing off the wall. Alright, time for the better ammo. No!
My muscle memory told me that this was in slot 4. Okay. Is the guide up, li up yet? Could you not? Uh, I'm literally not, just not going to escape. Okay, okay. Uh, there we go. The guide is not up yet. Alright, note to self, remove this thing from slot where I've recently been putting the Molten Fury. Best not to fight with an accidental suicide button in easy reach. Pro tip. Now I have to wait all night for the guide. Surface Tundra. Oh yeah, I, I remember this. If I just stand on the left side of the forest lake, that's the surface tundra. I'll be taking that lens. I really do like the moon glow, the nightlight. It's very chill. fish. difficult. Focus on the fishing. No, I didn't want to pick up that star. I needed the light source. Fire imps would be so much better here. Frost daggerfish. How are you spawning in the water? That's so rude. <laughs> Make a golden crate. And suddenly there's no enemies spawning. Probably because there's a critical mass of them stuck in places like this. This fishing quest is taking a surprisingly long time. Oh, there it is. Uh, drop the bass. And away we go. Another bottomless water bucket? Sure, whatever. And Atlantic Cod goes in here somewhere. Do we have a guide yet? Not for another minute at least. In hindsight, maybe I should have put that bed slightly higher so that imps didn't spawn around it and stuff. Yeah. Okay. 
can I do for like 20 seconds? I guess I could jungle fish. I think Neon Tetra might be one of the few fish that actually is white, uh, can't be used for anything else, but can make seafood dinner. Should probably gobble those up. Cool, cool, cool. Let's put these in here. And the guy doesn't necessarily appear at 4.30 a.m. Caught in surface. I forget if that includes the ocean surface. Let's try. I'm thinking probably not. I, I don't know. It should really explicitly say surface forest if that's what it means. should have quick stacked. I think my void bag might be full actually. Not even close? Then how... When I picked up the quest fish, how come it dropped on the ground? I don't think I had two. No, 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 I wouldn't have been able to pick it up. It is a mystery. I could make a fishing spot a bit closer to spawn. It's like one screen away. Oh, even so. I think this will count as desert though. Anyway, we've got our guide. Let's try the wall of flesh yet again. Guide Voodoo Doll, please. Are we missing any potions? I don't think so. I keep trying to use a pylon to go there. Shell phone home. And we do have Molten Fury in slot 4. Not as an accidental suicide button. Good luck, sir. Thank you. Alright, just watch out for imps. Everything else is beyond secondary. I can hear the squishy sounds that tell me I'm hitting the wall of flesh. Okay, 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 all right. How many nearly impossible angles do you want to give me to dodge those things? That was kind of dumb, especially after all that. There is a hair that is making my eye all twitchy. This is not a good time. These things do drop health occasionally. I feel like they reduced the chances or something. Why is my health so low? Holy crap. Preemptive bees. Get controlled. I don't 
don't think we're doing enough damage. But I need to survive to continue to deal damage. Also, I might be comparing it to how quickly I needed to do damage if we mostly can't in the demon town. Okay, health is getting a bit higher now. We can get a bit more aggressive soon, I hope. That's rude. That's also rude. I hope we can stop having fireballs coming from every possible angle soon so I can get a bit closer. Like this. And there's immediately an imp that spawns right behind me while I foolishly pay attention to where I'm aiming. Okay. Okay. Uh, we've only done like... Oh god, our damage is not good this time. How am I supposed to get at you? Oh, come off it. It would be amazing if I could get, like, four seconds to try to actually deal damage to the wall. Or I don't just constantly have to react to something else instead. Like now, except now we're getting into awkward uh, terrain. And now we're hit by a fireball again. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Literally flanked by teleports. At least these are mostly in the same direction. We're halfway done, damage-wise. I don't know if we've got half the map left. Oh, come on. Probably could have made this terrain a little less awkward for myself. Come on. Just stop oppressing me for 12 seconds. Oh my god. 54 health. 14 seconds till I can heal. Int spawn behind me. It is just relentless. I cannot get four seconds to just focus on attacking. <sighs> and it's so luck-based. Like, if I... If I just get less obnoxious imp spawning positions... Devil's Dandruff, thank you for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Uh, am I out of any potions yet? I don't think so. Do we have a guide? We do. Let's try our luck again. I mean, on previous runs, I've had him down to like 40% before we got to the Demon Town. That run was just 
really unfortunate with the imp positions a lot of the time. Alright, once more with feeling. I didn't use any B-nades. Should probably try to do that this time. I quick stacked the, the voodoo doll, didn't I? I can't access. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to get an extra minion. Uh, I think I was out of... Yeah, I think I was out of summoning potions. That doesn't help with the whole imp situation. I think I have to take a more aggressive dodge pattern. Try and run circles around places like this. So we can deal more damage. Oh, that was never going to work. Bad spot, bad timing, and very low in health now. Jeez, I can't even see those fireballs most of the time. Two of them simultaneously? I'm surprised how bad the bees are at, like, if I shoot near the imps, I would expect the bees to hit them much sooner. Coming from the, uh, the bees' knees. If they had the fast fireballs or the quick firing time after they teleport, and not both, it would honestly be 600 times more fair. Oh. They just keep teleporting in places where it would be at best barely possible to dodge them. have travel time, like even if I flick directly towards the imps, unless I do a perfect shot, they're going to get a fireball off. Yet getting close enough to use Nades. I can't... I'm struggling just to deal some damage and stay alive most of the time. Okay. Nope. I was gonna say, is this our chance? And then one of those worms blocked my dash.
He is down to half health. I don't know how much time we've got left. This is not the place to try and get in his face. Okay, this might be a bit better. Ooh, that was actually ridiculously close. I almost went one tile too high there. And now the perfect... The perfect imp fireball angles when I'm trying to go left. It's too luck based. The Terraria character only has so much maneuverability, especially before hard mode. Not having one more minion definitely didn't help either. Guide's already back here mocking me. Let's get another minion. Uh, can't believe I'm out of Varigrated Lardfish again. Out of the way, please. Fantastic big brain? I don't know about that. Alright. Fishing trip number 6000. Let's get some more summoning potions. Don't care about this worm. Don't think I need to care about this worm. Oh, come on, minions. The bees really are, the hornets really are quite weak. The only reason I take them is they are by far the best at quickly reacting to and hitting the imps. Not to say they're reliable. I wonder if that spot there would count for jungle underground fishing. I can't get variegated lardfish from the surface, can I? I don't think so. Yeah, I think we only have to be in the underground depth. Which is not that deep. Alright, let's make some more potions. What did I just pick up? I'll open these with a luck potion one day. What's your most disliked biome? Um... Hmm... Hmm... Probably the jungle. The jungle never stops being dangerous, and often deceptively so. Don't tell me I'm now out of armored cavefish. Yep, one more try before we have to farm again. I'm almost out of archery potions? Alright. The 
be using the grenades here while I have the chance. Oh god, don't spawn underneath me. I wish I had time to focus on aiming my arrows at the actual eyes, but I don't. That's rude. Damage is pretty good this time. My health isn't great, but it's not bad. Okay. Luckily I managed to Cthulhu shield, avoid that contact damage. Why am I getting... oh. Dub. Let's calm down and focus, shall we? How did that hit? Hit boxes, please. I hear squishy noises. I've actually got him down to half already, almost. Or like 55% or so. That was silly. I should have used the grav to switch gravity. I didn't have any more flight left. but I still could have avoided that fireball. 15 seconds till I can heal. Alright, let's get some more damage on. If we can. Don't care about the laser damage very much. Just don't fireball me. If I must travel on the floor, I should dash so that imps get hit by it. Health is looking good. His and mine. get some proper damage. That's not what I meant to do, but okay. That's a very nasty angle. Let's get some distance. Health is actually surprisingly good. Let's stop burning. I actually got him down to one third and we haven't seen the end of the demon town yet. I think this is it. As long as we don't get horrible luck with the imps. Do everything we can to mitigate that. Oof, no, bad. He's getting low. I don't think I even really need to not use the bee's knees. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. Let's move faster. Before he catches us. Yeah, you're trying to cut me off? Yeah? You think I don't see through your little plan? Time for proper damage. 
Has he stopped spawning imps? Nope, absolutely not. What are you, crazy? We've still got the whole non-demon town area left. I think we're going to be fine in terms of time limit. Just don't mess it up from here. This is it. Try not to die. Oh, my health. What happened to my health? When did this happen? Holy crap. I didn't even see it. When can I heal? Ten seconds. Okay. Alright. More distance. That's 20 health, that helps. Don't die, 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 don't die. Oh no, 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 no. You're kidding me. I couldn't have scripted that better. Oh my god. Oh, give me those Crimtain blocks. Those will be my altar of pride. We did it. So epic. Thank you. GG well played. First try. Right. I mean, it was, what, my second or third try? Since actually clearing the buildings a little bit. Maybe more than a little bit. Free, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Please. What what weapon what what set of stuff do I want from the Wall of Flesh? Cause normally the first thing I would do in hard mode is kill him again, like several times until I get all the stuff. But this time I really don't want to have to do that for a minute. Um, I think the laser rifle and the summoner emblem, uh, no, the, the sorcerer emblem are exactly what I want, actually. The weapon's not as important. Summoner emblem, no, it heard me misspeak. No. We did get a godly firecracker, that's not bad. And of course, demon heart, we now have one more accessory slot. And, of course, the Bone Hammer, so we can smash Demon Altars if we so desire. It is possible to bypass smashing the Demon Altars. Um, just by fishing. Or you could just skip the hard mode medals. Well, mostly you could skip the hard mode medals. Time to do it again? Nah, I want stronger gear. I very much want stronger gear before we do that. Where do I want to go first in hard mode? I mean, usually the first thing I work towards is killing Duke Fish Run. I have a feeling that an early Duke Fish Run kill might not be as feasible. Um, on this seed, just a, just an intuition I have. It's possible. I want to live is what I heard, indeed. I have Cthulhu? I mean, we can farm it. Yeah, I'm pretty disappointed we got the Summoner Emblem for now. If I'm going to do an early Duke, I absolutely need the increased magic damage. And if I had increased range of damage, I could at least do the Wall of Flesh again with relative... Well, not even relative ease, it'd just happen a little bit faster. I still wouldn't want to do it yet.
like go, uh, go for some better wings, that's a good thing to start with. Uh, I think this guy sells them at night. Although, last time, with the Don't Dig Up seed, he just didn't sell any. I think the only wings we could get on that seed were the ones that we craft. Oh yeah, I've got this teleporter to get there. Let's get some better minions for the job, though. Put this away for now. Maybe a blood rainbow isn't that bad. Eh, it's pretty weak. Got a flame lash. Oh yeah, I need to put something in this accessory slot. Um, and the armor pierce until I think of something else. What is shimmer? It's this uh, weird. Can you actually find it before hard mode? Now that I think about it, I imagine yes. Uh, it's this weird biome with a pool of strange liquid that you can toss things in. And sometimes they turn into other things. Personally, I vote for your base's walls. Walls are being grass? What? Oh, I just realized. Does the pirate invasion... Is it possible for that to happen already? Because I don't want to mess with that. Oh yeah, I was coming here for the imp stuff. Let's grab... That. And get rid of the hornets. For now. Let's go... See if we can get ourselves some... Souls of Flight. Oh! That was way too quick. I should have been a mage for this as well. This is not a boss, so I can't see him on the minimap. Uh, what do I have for piercing damage? Fireballs? That's it. I could throw a bee nade at him. I wonder how effective that would be. Well, it sounded effective, but he's got way too many hit points for me to waste my bee nades on this. This is actually probably the safest place to fight him, now that I look at it. It's got an awful lot of hit points. And he'll probably, if not one-shot me, definitely two-shot me. Especially at the nose. I should have brought... Oh, here we go. Unholy arrows. Those, those pierced. That's going to deal some more damage. Yeah, there we go. Mummy? I'm a little busy right now. Could you be persuaded not to? Thank you. We probably have to kill two of these to get our 20 souls of flight. Not difficult, just very dangerous. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's let's go again. Mummy not now, indeed. This will take a while, it kinda did. Just five more minutes. <laughs> oh, I don't like this angle. It's good for damaging him, but it's very good for damaging him, actually. This is a much safer spot. If a mummy comes along, it won't be able to reach me. That's a lot quicker to kill him. Trying to anticipate his angle. Not bad. 
Not bad at all. Six gold. It's a lot easier to get money in hard mode. Uh, let's go get ourselves some wings. I do believe I have a giant harpy feather already. Beautiful. Uh, do I need a better anvil? Or... Or what? Are those the best wings you can craft? For now, yeah, probably. This reminds me of the flying dog in Never Ending Story. I think it's supposed to, probably. Oh, we do have a guide. He's up here. Mithril Anvil. God damn it. I could fish for it. So I don't have to go through all the very dangerous mining. I bet it would happen pretty quickly, actually. Especially if we use a potion. This is how you do it in hardcore. <laughs> Uh, that's a crims crimson slime, though. What? What? No. There we go. You- I- I forgot fly- uh, I forgot slimes can float as well. Whoops. Oh, it's fine. Mithril crate already? Fantastic. Seaside crate? Give me another pair of uh, Terra Spark boots. The missing in the main missing ingredient, or one of them, is water walking boots. Good job, imps. Is he like trying to run away or something? Doesn't look like it. Is it worth exploring the map for loot? Uh, yeah. I just want to see how quickly I could get a Mithril Anvil just by fishing. Oh, I think the Seaside Crate is the hard mode version as well, so we could get some good stuff out of that. Actually getting a lot of them. Only a minute or two into the crate potion as well. Get back here. You started this. Seaside crates and two mithril so far. It's a pretty good haul. Good job, imps. Keep it up. Okay, I know the basic enemies on this seed are not that different, except for stats, but like... It fading to darkness as I stand on top of the ocean and I can't see anything below me is kind of triggering thalassophobia. Let's just go to the end of this uh, crate potion. I guess I would know if anything's below me because the imps would try and fail to attack it. Oh, 
Lantern Knight. Red Snapper goes in here. Sawtooth Shark goes in... Oh wow, this is Hallow now. Uh, okay. I guess that beats the alternative. Actually, I'm a little annoyed because I dug around this whole area to ensure that biome wouldn't spread to it. Like crimson, for example. But it looks like the uh, the hallow from killing the wall of flesh goes up this way and went straight through uh, our snow pylon. But I'm pretty sure that just means that fishing from here counts as both Hallow and uh, uh, Underground Snow Biome. Let's see. If we can get... Uh, what is it called? Princess Fish. There we go. That's Hallow. I'm pretty sure that means we can get... Um, what's that multicolored fish called? Oh, I have a spare giant harpy feather as well. Oh no, that's the first one. I haven't made the wings yet. Dub. Can't remember what princess fish is used for, so it's probably not very good. No, I think it ha Oh, prismite! That's what I was looking for. I was going to say, I think we have to fish that up on the surface. But apparently not. Alright, let's stack away our fishing stuff. No, not where I wanted to go. Actually, let's have a look at this. We've got no biomes creeping in, looks like. Fantastic. Princess fish is used in... Love potion. Yep, that's just a gimmick. So it's kind of like the, um, the on Tetra and just use it for food. I'll put the giant harpy... F uh, where are my boots? I'll put the giant harpy feather and the souls in... I was going to say this chest, but for some reason it's full. This would normally be my hard mode medals and stuff. Don't know how this happened. Well, let's start. I think I should put various building things over here, perhaps? What even is that? Eye of the Sun. Just a couple more trips. Alright, get out of my sight. And a random campfire too. I think I'll just sell it. No, oh, it doesn't have value even. Why do I want a random campfire? Wait, it turned into... Oh, wow. I didn't know that. The, uh... Uh, the Torch God's Favor affects campfires. It turned into a desert campfire. That's kind of neat. Okay. So we're going to grab our Luck Potion, which I think we've got zero of, actually? Nope, we've got one right here. 
lesser luck potion. The only difference is the duration. And we're going to grab all of our crates. And we're going to make sure we're standing near a gnome. And open. Let's get the free hard mode ones out of the way first. Oh, I got another staff of regrowth. There's like two things this... No, there's only... There's two versions of this recipe. Okay. I forgot to drink the lesser luck. Okay, good thing I only consumed the free hard mode. Uh... Crates so far. More crate, indeed. Alright, let's go. Give me all of the mithril, please. What do we get? Water walking boots, that's nice. Couple of flippers, I was short on those, I think. Um, another flipper? 13 adamantite bars. That's kind of good, but like... Oh, we have like 6 pearl wood as well. No, I think pearl wood is like the equivalent of a wood one. So the only metal I got was... Oh no, here we go, Mithril. Fantastic. I thought we only got the top tier, or one of the two top tiers, of hard mood metal. Um, Mithril bar, here we go. I hope six is enough to make an anvil. We need 10. For, uh, I kind of want to do this without... Um, well, I was going to say do it without smashing any altars, but... Normally the reason I can do that is because I can kind of skip the hard mode armors. And the reason I do that is because I've got high DPS from the media suit and crystal storm and I go kill uh, Duke Fishron and somehow I get the feeling we're not gonna just casually gonna be able to beat Duke Fishron um, like early hard mode Halfway there, yeah. We got some water walking boots. I think... Well, I know we've got the obsidian roses. We've got those in spades. So the only thing we're short on to get another pair of Paraspark boots, so I don't have to switch back and forth. I could just have water walking boots and lightning boots on the fishing set. That's nice. Um, but yeah, if I were to want to combine those into one, we're looking for a Molten Charm. Which was really, really hard to get one off previously. Pretty sure Shell Pile is worthless. No, not quite. Give me another safe. Put it in the piggy bank. Spare boots over here. Yeah, I think I will just go the normal route of breaking demon altars this time. Where would be the best place to do this? Oh, there's a lot. Oh my god. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If I can smash all of those before the wraiths appear and then just book it, that would be pretty cool. Just play the game super casually and it's so interesting to see all the new stuff. Yeah, there's a lot. There is a lot of stuff. 
In before the second tier hard mode metal that we get on this world is not mithril, so those six bars are basically useless. I don't actually have a short... Oh, yes, I do. I have a shortcut there. Nice. That is one of the biggest things I could recommend for setting up before hard mode. Make sure you've got a transportation network that gets you almost anywhere. Oh, where's my cone hammer? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Oh god. That thing dealt over 300 damage to me. I need to do two more if I want to leave it on a multiple of three. So we have the highest tier. I was actually just starting to think as I was there, maybe I shouldn't remove this altar because it's pretty easy to get to. But we've got a fairly easily accessible one down here as well. I could go remove those two. Why not? Let's heal up a bit first. How do you remember all this stuff? Do you have a wiki open on a second window? You, you just learn it bit by bit. I know it's a huge, huge, huge knowledge game. There's a lot. There really is. I can't remember at any given moment half the things that I've learned about this game. And they've added a lot of stuff that I don't know yet. I can't believe we've suddenly got so many flippers. He is the wiki? I don't know about that. Um, Alright, let's go to... Ocean on the right. Which is going to become all crimson. Whether we like it or not. Avoid the monsters, because they're going to be overpowered against us at this stage. Let's get in, get out. Fantastic. So we got Aurichalcum, as I kind of guessed we would. Uh, adamantite, and I forget the other one, palladium. Adamantite was, th there's like six different tiers, but it's, it's kind of like silver and tungsten. Um, there's a bunch of tiers of metal that were in the game previously, and then they added a bunch of other ones that were like, not exactly side grades, but slightly better. So you either get silver or tungsten in your world. It's the same with the hard mode metals. We got the original adamantite, and we got the higher two tiers of the lower tiers of metal. But more importantly, our six uh, our six mithril is worthless towards towards getting an anvil. Unless we fish some more. Yay! Let's grab some... Spelunking Potion. Hunter, to be safe. Calming Potion as well would be a good idea. And take our basic safety potions as well. That should be fine. Alright, so we're looking for the new metals. That is a big seam of metal. What is it? Lead? Don't, I think that's iron. 
Oh no, we've got lead. That is adamantite. I should dig towards it so I don't have to... Wow. That's faster than expected. Dig towards it so I don't have to find it with... Uh... Oh, this isn't adamantite. It's orichalcum. That's our second tier that we're looking for. So as soon as we get a pickaxe um, that can mine it... Is that also orichalcum? Ow! That scared me, because I was... I was watching out for the, uh, the vine enemies. Okay, let's mark that. I don't particularly want to be looking for these metals in the jungle. Or the crimson. Uh, what's this? Adamantite? I can't believe- oh hey, the wizard! We found the wizard before we found palladium. Is this? That's palladium, okay. Um, I think I need the flaming... I shouldn't have done that actually. Because the, uh... I should just get rid of this. Let me go back to spawn. Um, the monsters are going to stay there. At least for a while, because there's a portal exit. Not going to despawn. Let's just put this here for the moment. Okay. I need the Molten Pickaxe. Which I don't favor in pre-hard mode because it's slower. So it's not as good at digging sand and stuff. It's not that much faster in general. Like, stronger. And we got a heavy one, as if to emphasize the point. Anyway, we won't be needing our legendary Deathbringer pickaxe. As cool as it sounds. Maybe I should put it on the wall or something. Can you put, can you put tools up here? Yes, you can. That's kind of neat. All right. Also, do I have a spare room for the wizard somewhere? I don't think so. He likes the hallow, so maybe. I don't know if underground hallow is his thing, but maybe we can just put him in this apartment here. Which I still haven't made nice. Oh well. Too bad the bottomless buckets can't combine. Yeah. Would tend to agree. I don't miss the bad old days of not being able to turn wood wall back into wood. Carefully counting. And knowing exactly how much wood wall it takes to make a make a room that oh it's prioritizing the hallow over the ice the automatic biome torches anyway we'll see if these two still offer the best possible price wizard was slain rip well that definitely tells us there's still monsters being simulated here that haven't despawned. Oh, is that our calcum? It is too. Okay, let's go find the one bit of palladium that we've found so far. I'll go dig it up rather. And hopefully it's enough to make a pickaxe. And we're not going to bother making the armor. Ow. Jesus, I'm almost dead already. Okay. Can we 
No, 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 no. Oh, that's not what I was looking for. Uh, let's drop down there again. Um, I was looking for... The wizard has arrived. That was quick. I should probably use the fireball to potentially clear the path. I want to be here. Yep. Oh great. Oh great. It's coming through the wall. Oh no. No 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 no. Not a fan of this. At least I have plenty of knockback against you. Shoot. I'm not strong enough yet. I don't want to fight. Go away. All right. Will this be enough palladium? Uh, I think that's like 12 palladium bars, so probably. That went down the elevator? The, uh, what was that thing? It's just a nasty crimson enemy. It, it spits some, um, it spits some really powerful, nasty stuff at you that also lowers your defense as if it wasn't strong enough already. I don't remember what it's called. A floater? Um, alright. So, apparently I just quick stacked. Hold on, what? Oh, is it in the void bag? Palladium ore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've probably got plenty, actually. Cool, cool, cool. Give me the stupid pickaxe. And heavy molten pickaxe, you're fired. And now we go start digging up Orichalcum. I did mark a couple of them down here. There's one. I think all the hard mode metals require four ore to make one bar. And we need like, I think, 12 to make a pickaxe. So 48. That is not quite enough. Is that Oracalcum? That's Amethyst. There was another vein I marked already. That should be enough. Calcum Anvil 2? What? It made it sound like I had two of these, but I don't. I think it's just because I picked it up twice in a really short time. Uh, but yeah, now we can get our first hard mode wings. What do we get? No modifier at all. Cool, cool, cool. Oh wait, these two are the same tier, kind of. Those stars. I guess since bosses arbitrarily reflect the star cannon, uh, now is the time to make use of it. Against regular enemies. And we'll put the very finite bee nades away. Let's go get these wings re-rolled. 
Hello, wizard. Crystal ball, yes please. Permanent magic buff, or at least until we die. And I need a spell tome to make crystal storm. I would also like some greater mana potions, but let's be careful with our money thus far. Also, we can buy the Hallowed Pylon whenever we want. Ice Rod is very nice. It's a bit expensive, but we can basically use it for unlimited flight. Check out what's up here without drinking any grav potions or anything. Oh, there's our little friend. Let's grab the key. And there he goes. Stinky. Oh hey, this is also a great place to get crystal shards. I didn't even think of that. Nice. These are exactly what we need for the best early hard mode DPS spell. I think we need like 15 or 30. And they're already all over the place here. Is that what I think it is? Skeleton Crystal. We are playing on easy mode. For the luck for these things. Give me that. I kind of want to leave this Orichalcum here. It's the exact same color as everything else. Alright, how many do we have? 19. That's a start. They're also the best cheap bullets. Uh, like, you barely need to farm for them. In hard mode, I would say. Nepi Hustle, thank you for the follow. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, in early hard mode, anyway. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm just going to assume that everything in hard mode is going to one shot. Ow! Okay, that that wasn't hard mode. That was a trap. Doesn't count. That that is definitely something to be afraid of, though. There's our first soul of light. These guys have a very, 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 very small chance of giving us a very, very, very useful item. But they're a bit difficult and dangerous to farm at this moment. Oh, speaking of dangerous. I'm not a fan of that. How many crystals do I have? 37? Let's get 50. And then I'll get out of here. I'll stick to the ceiling. Should be relatively safe. Our, our dark foreboding demon altar is... Or crimson altar is looking very different now. It actually turned the crimson blocks into... Um, into pearl stone. Get wrecked, I guess. That's so cute. <laughs> right, how many we got? 49? Close enough. Oh, is that another gelatin? Eep, that's the that's turtle. That's the turtle. Not a fan. We have to suppress it. It's not easy, it's not difficult to deal with if it's the only thing you have to worry about. Uh, it's, st it's still incredibly dangerous. These bats are also pretty dangerous. I do not want to give up that turtle after getting him down to two health, though. No, come back. I think I got him. Alright, let's get out of here. There's another one. We didn't get the drop. I didn't expect it. It's pretty rare. Alright. It's not exactly safe in here, but... Alright. 
think we actually need the crystal ball to craft this. Crystal storm. We need 15 souls of light. I forgot about that. And it's 20 shards. Rainbow rod we can't get until we kill the twins. Same goes for magical heart. We can make basically a lightsaber. First we need the phase blade, which I think is... Uh, media plus... Gems? Oh, we could start with the diamond one, because we farmed it. Yeah, here we go. White phase blade. And then we can upgrade it. Uh, with what exactly? Uh, crystal sh shards, right? We just need a mithril or equivalent anvil. Cool. That's a really good early heart mode. Easy get weapon. 55 melee damage and it's quite fast. Knockback's not very good though. But it's a lot better than this in terms of DPS. Although this will go through walls, I think. Are the different colors better slash worse or is that just for show? Um, with some things that come from gems, they are, but I think with the phase blades, oh god, one of my least favorite enemies. Least favorite slash most common enemy. Over a thousand hit points too, yeah. Uh, let's see, green phase blade, 30 melee, blue phase blade, 30 melee. These ones are the same, but the staves, for instance... Um, do you have different damage and different properties? As I recall, the phase blade, uh, phase blades and phase sabers are also incredibly cheap to re-roll for how strong they are. Yeah, look at that. One gold, 74 silver. Very easy to get this to legendary. There it is. And that, of course, includes a size increase, size, speed, and knockback. Alright, so we need how many souls of light? I think it was like 12? 15. We've, we've picked up at least one, maybe two. We picked up two. Uh, and I should probably re-roll the Harpy Wings. Just give me plus four damage or defense. That is movement. Angry, plus three. We're not going to keep these for that long. Maybe that's fine. The firecracker away, I think. Should get a better gun. Crystal shards go in here somewhere. Spell tome can go there as well. And then and then what? Should I try Duke Fish Run? Why not? We need to get Souls of Light first. Depending on what they do or don't add to Duke Fish Run, it might just be basically the same fight. 
Um, or it might be horrific. Or impossible. For early game. We'll see. Like it, why not? Yeah. It's not like we're playing hardcore. Oh, scary spiders. Uh, squi squirrel? Squirrel. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I kind of want to try the phase blade, but I know how dangerous these are. Ooh, this would be... Okay, I need to be careful. Because I can't really see... Yeah, 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 see that? Can't really see what I'm dealing with here. And I know how dangerous these are. I think they can spit something at you that stuns you. And then it's all over. Um, but yeah, if we get not that many spider fangs together, we can make a summoner set. Which is probably one of the safest ways we could play early hard mode. With reasonable strength as well. As far as... I don't think it's going to work for um, killing bosses, but walking around it's pretty good. As is like... I rage to win. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. What are you farming here? What's the next step in the run? I came here for Souls of Light. Oh god, oh no, no, no. I didn't come here for that. I'm not ready for that. Nope. 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 No. No for the worthy hallowed mimic while we're still wearing necro gear. Just noped out so hard, indeed. I would not have been shocked if it one-shot me, honestly. How many spider fangs do we need for the summoner set? Very, very, very convenient and unusual that we've got them um, so close to a uh, to somewhere we can teleport to. Where's the guide? Here he is. Let's see. Uh, twenty-four to summon a sentry. I never use this. Um, only 16 to summon spiders. Spiders are actually pretty great. They're, they're not the greatest um, mobility or aggressiveness or anything, but as soon as they touch something, they just stick to it. Like, they'll never let go. They'll, they'll keep biting, and I think they poison as well. Spider nest block. Lovely. So 8 plus 16 plus 12... 24 and 12, 36, for plus 3 minions, and whatever the set bonus is, and 5, 8, and 7. It's actually more defense than the Necro Greaves. 36, I was off by 2. It's kind of OP, it's a free turret during boss fight. Doesn't do that much though. Spider, indeed. Let's go. Uh, so the first thing I want, I think, is the spider staff. Let's get another ten fangs. If I teleport back to here, there should be no... No mimic. And let's dig ourselves a path to fight the spiders that's kind of safe for us. Relatively. That's a good angle. Oh, there's another one. I'm gonna run out of mana though. I don't like that bat. I should remember I have the star cannon if things get particularly uncomfortable. There's never going to be a better time to use it. Wait, what? I don't have any stars on me? No! 
but yeah, this this it's only gonna get less good um, further into hard mode, and we can't use it on bosses at all. So why not? So what are you farming, and what's next? Um, I'm farming for souls of light, and since they're here, I'm farming for spider uh, spider fangs. Very good uh, early hard mode summoner set if you can get it. Usually I wouldn't have access to a spider nest that's so comfortably close to... No, you don't. So, comf uh, so comfortably close to a place I can just teleport to. A town. I really wish I had those stars right now. Maybe I should be using arrows since they pierce. How many have we got? Twelve? Trying not to waste shots. One spider fang? Really? Wall creepers are the pre-hard mode ones, they won't give us what we're looking for. Oh god, spiders everywhere. Yeah, once you're in this little biome, um, those spiders will spawn all over the place. Oh god, it's creepy. This is actually a pretty cheesy spot. Just want to make sure I give my mana time to regen. Am I even going to be able to pick up the drops if they die there? Because the spawn rate is crazy while we're actually in this room. I think I should be going. You know what? Let's really be going. I could see... Uh, I could envision a future where I got stunned half a second before that teleport. We need three more fangs. Well, three more fangs just for the first thing that I want to make with the spider fangs. And then we're going to have much more effective minions. Actually, let me get those stars that I was talking about. I'm not using... Oh, I am using bullets, I forgot. I'm not using wooden arrows right now. Let's leave them in here. Remember your A, B, G? Always be going? Yes. You can't be paranoid enough if you're playing on hardcore. If you take one damage, port home. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, the stars are already not that strong. only got 245 left as well. I think we missed our chance. I mean, there was nothing to use them on. The bosses just no-sail the star cannon on this seed. I guess the damage isn't that bad. Ah! I literally didn't see... Did anyone see how much damage it did? I'm pretty sure it one-shot me from full health. I 
As an EVE player, I can confirm that you can never be too paranoid, indeed. We need two more things. Ripsal? Was that a full-on one-shot? I, I thought I was on full health. Imagine dying in one hit to end your hardcore run to something you literally didn't even see. Oh yeah, I have a B-gun. Let's use that. They're so weak, though. Bruh. Well, they're free. It was a one-shot, indeed. Mizot. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is actually going to take forever to kill one thing. I think we should just use the fireballs instead. And that's with two uh, stinger necklaces. We've got ten armor pierce. What if I go this way? And then get the imps behind me here? There we go. Oh god. Oh god. When it shoots cobwebs at you, it doesn't just spawn you if it direct- it doesn't just stun you if it hits directly. Uh, it makes web appear all around you as well. Can this guy reach me? I hope not. Oh, that guy can definitely reach me. I'm not a fan of this. Um... Let's get out. Yep, there he is. Okay, so he only does 130-something damage on contact. So many. Uh, my damage is so bad. I just want to kill a couple of spiders. Why are you like this? Oh yeah, I don't have a whip. Shoot. Okay. 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 Why don't I just reset this? We still need two more spider fangs. Have you beaten For the Worthy before? I have not. Never tried it before. Shoo. Oh, thank goodness that was the Shield of Cthulhu. And thank goodness I didn't run into more spiders. And thank goodness I just got two more spider fangs. What the... Uh, I'm pretty sure I, did I use a potion of return just now, or, no, I guess not, okay, that was confusing, anyway, here's our spider stuff, let's make it ruthless, 29 summon damage, they're very, very cheap to reroll. Makes it even better. We are witnessing history in the making. <laughs> Indeed. Can we get a Ruthless or something? Mythical. Plus 15% damage. That's the most important stat. Unfortunately, you can't exactly just force the spider to appear on an enemy like this. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be a lot more useful than the imps most of the time. Case in point. Let me up. 
I can just hide from this guy. Wow, that does... That does a lot more damage than anything else I have right now. This, this is how you farm ice turtles. I do have a summoner emblem, by the way. I, I think we're going summoner. Unless and until we beat Duke Fish Run relatively early. How many souls have we got? Two since we got here. Was it the first hard mode armor set? What is the first hard mode armor set you'll make? Um, it's going to be the spider set. We're going to go in here, get more fangs. We're going to use our spiders to kill spiders. And we're going to get, what is it, 36 fangs? Oh, geez, geez, we're doing, doing. oh god, I was looking in the other direction, trying to see a hidden spider. Holy crap. But yeah, my summons are actually my main source of damage now. The pistol is just to hold them back. I should really be scouting with fireballs. Oh god, don't get stuck. I was just trying to get my spiders onto him. Oh god, that's... nope. Okay. Okay. So this part's clear for the moment. Let's get some more vision. Speaking of vision... You know what? Maybe I should try to make it possible to survive a one-shot. Maybe Iron Skid could potentially make the difference. Alright, that's the end of the spider cave. Fantastic, good to know. You're not a spider. Who do you think you are? I could not think of a better minion to have at this point. Just get it latched onto an enemy and then hide. Yep, there's that... There's that cobweb of doom. And the shape of this uh, terrain in the spider nest is pretty much ideal, honestly. I couldn't ask for a better hiding spot. Looks like if you suppress them they can't shoot. Perfect. You're not perfect. Go away. You're messing up my perfect plans. Oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> and for furthermore, nope. Okay. Maybe I should take a summoner set? It's probably a good idea. I did just say my pistol's not really for damage. How many minions do we get? Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Bad. Actually, I should leave this shut most of the time. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to show Damsel this. Hope you're still here, Damsel. Light of the Owls. Indeed. 
That should keep fewer monsters from spawning as well. Alright, so we get only plus one minion out of this set. I think this one's probably better in that department. Plus two. Yeah, I think we just want to go for the maximum number of spiders. And I could even use a summoner potion as well for a total of five. We're going to play as cowardly as we can manage. Just don't try to pet them. <laughs> don't try to pet them with an arrow. I'm glad we've got a hunting ground for the um, uh, for the chaos elementals. That's so close to a spawn. Uh, a town as well. Yep, this is kind of effective. Can I get you involved as well? Not quite. It's also a source of souls, because we're in a hallow biome. Uh, -oh. uh minions? Little help? Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna have the, the spider set in no time at this rate. do we have? 21. We're looking for, I think it was 36. Maybe a bit more if we want the sentry as well. There are sets that let us get more sentries. I think they can only be got through the... Well, I think the only sets that give you those uh, come from the attorney... Oh god. Nope. 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 How did you spawn so close? Okay. They can literally spawn a tile off screen, it seems like. Fried egg? Or... I see Merman. Slime is falling from the sky. I don't think we're overly fussed about that right now. That's not what I meant to do. This could scarcely be a better farm, honestly. 42, we're almost there. Let's go for at least 50. I can't remember how many it takes to make the the sentry, but 50 something should be enough. Look at all those spiders, indeed. Yeah, this was the right choice. Ooh, I got a yo-yo. 61 melee damage. Should probably be using that, to be honest, even though I'm not much of a yo-yo user. I don't even want to get close enough to have to use a phase saber, to be honest. Oh, wha what the hell? What was that DPS? 
Holy crap. And it does... It does Frostburn as well? Um, yes please. This is perfect for my cowardly playstyle right now as well. 61 Spider Fangs, let's go. Alright. Uh, fried egg can go in here, I guess. Spot. Oh, it's gonna kill all the slimes really quick. Spider Queen stuff. Fantastic. Celestial, that's not too bad, I guess. We've got the ideal set now for killing things without even having line of sight. Ah! Didn't see you there. King slime spawning when? Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Do we still have the maximum number of minions? Not tell. Probably. Summoning. We've got... Three minutes left, I think. I can probably kill King Slime without, um, without using a single attack. As long as I make sure I dodge before he teleports. Spiders just keep all running left or right. Oh yeah, there's our minion count. Pretty sure King Slime is spawning soon. I wonder how good these little spiders are against segmented enemies. <laughs> I bumped the slime into the spiders. Poor slime. I don't think this sentry stays here indefinitely, but I think it lasts like 10 minutes or something. Maybe 5. Where's the slime? Does the sentry count as a summon? Uh, it has... Oh, here we go. Just have to watch for the teleport. Oh, wow! <laughs> I did not think it would be this quick. Damn. Hands free, let's go. And that's King Slime. Beautiful. I wonder how long they take to kill the Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, yeah, so to answer your question... Uh, the minion count and the sentry count are separate limits. There's not a uh, there's not a lot of gear that gives you plus sentry, uh, plus max sentries. In fact, I think you only get plus max sentry from uh, from the attorney of crystal stuff. And those sets are 
mostly not that exciting, to be honest. Alright, let me put my B gear away. I could probably stand to use a whip, though. If we're gonna go... Summoner. I think the firecracker can hit things through walls. Let's find out. Also, our one spare spider fang. I guess I estimated that fairly well. That can go in here. Um, I don't know... I was going to say, I don't know if we're going to use the Molten Fury, but it has piercing with the Unholy Arrows. I could wait till we run out of Star Cannon. Where do banners go? Inventory is getting too full. Oh yeah, let's do some fishing, because... Like, we may as well do some fishing quests, now that we can get hard mode gear just kind of randomly. Except, this is my usual fishing spot in the caverns in this save. It's a little dangerous. Maybe we'll go here instead. Look at all those lovely minions. Yes, yeah, is, is this going to give us maximum fishing? I imagine it's probably going to do that. I can find out. Wait, what? Where's my information? Here it is. Fishing. Negative 3%. I think that's close enough. Alternatively... That'll probably put it up to maximum. Yep. Yep, oh, there's our quest fish. <laughs> Which we don't have room for right now. Hunger fish. Put the crates in here again. Fishing bobber, what is that? Oh, material increases fishing power by 10. Oh, I've never seen this. What does it combine with? Falling stars, which we obviously have in abundance. And it now glows. And it's still a material. Cool. Let's see what's next. Glowing fishing bobber. Menacing? Now we need to use it. Combat. Uh, what is all this? Is it just... We just get to pick a color. Krypton moss. Argon moss. Lava moss. Helium moss. Neon moss. Xenon moss. Um, is that this stuff? Can we acquire moss? Oh, this is the part where I wish I had my sword. Can we acquire moss this way? Apparently not. Do I need a sickle or something? Help? Adds, my name is weird. Okay. Hey, free trifold map. Memes. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... Let me try the sickle real quick. Let me quick stack this stuff. 
bicycle. Doesn't seem to be how we get this stuff. I would have been a little bit surprised if it was. Alright. Let's put this away. What do we need to combine with the map? A fast clock. Rose base. Base is the best. Thank you. Uh, I want to see what this bobber looks like. Let's see. Why do I want to squeeze it in? You know what? I'd really, I really would like to get um, these boots combined. Okay, real quick, fishing first. Let's go to the ocean on the left. And I guess since I'm wearing a shine potion, toss this as far as I can. Oh, we need, um, there we go. I don't have it equipped? I do have it equipped. Your bubba now glows. Oh. Oh, it's because I tossed it out while I was... Yeah, it actually matters. It has to be when you toss it out. That's neat. And we have some options for what color it's going to be. But I don't know how to get the stuff to let us give it gamer lighting. Argon moss, krypton moss, lava moss, helium moss, neon moss, or xenon moss. I've never heard of these before. Mine is so messy. Yeah, that's normal. That stuff is a material or the edges? On the edges. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to get it. It's new to me. All right, I think I want a dedicated chest for... Damn it, they're all ready. They've already got stuff. Uh, for all the stuff that combines into... this'll do. All of the things that combine into the ultimate shield. May as well just open that. Four lead? That's terrible. Alright, what are we hitting up next? Oh, 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 I wanted to see... How much damage these little spiders would do to one of these things. Oh god. Holy crap, he almost one-shot me. Uh Um. Okay. 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 Not that much damage. Experiment successful. He literally put me on, like, 30 health or something. With one touch. I think Duke Fish Run would literally one-shot me. Normally I could afford a mistake or two. As long as they're not close together. Oh yeah, did I buy the... Ice Rod? I don't think I did. Let's grab that, and then we can do things like this. To look for more floating islands, not that we really need them anymore. But yeah, if we want to build something in the sky, we can do that pretty casually.
could also actually use it as a weapon. And you could... Oh, I can't actually put it in front of these things. But normally, like in a cave or something, you can put it in front of you and shoot through it. It's not very mana efficient for the damage, but obviously against things that are terrifyingly powerful, that's pretty useful. Is there any reason to go to the dungeon yet? What's our next, uh, what's our next step? I think I would like to get frost armor and or the, uh, the desert summon equivalent. Looks like we have got no biome here. That's good. No spreading biome. Well, they are surprisingly strong against armor. Wow. Damn. Summoner for the win. I think I want to swap these two. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, it looks like there's no spreading biome that we have to worry about this way. Running through the jungle is kind of scary, though. Oh, that's why. That is why. Oh god. Oh no. No, 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 no. Uh, I think now we can actually buy... Corrupt Seeds from the Dryad. Fantastic. We can make a artificial corruption biome. And we'll be able to get any items that we would have missed out on because of the coin flip. Not a good place to hang around, though. I'm just trying to think where to go, though. My whole plan... My usual angle of attack. Okay, let's get some souls. We're going to want those regardless. Oh, I already have 21. Um, yes. Okay. And I think we need the crystal ball. No. Oh, I can make a key of light. That's a terrible idea right now, actually. Uh, what kind of crafting station? Oh, I think it's a bookcase. Yeah, here it is. Crystal Storm. Mystic? Okay, you could do better than Mystic, but that's pretty damn good to start with. Does it cost a lot to re-roll this thing? Kinda, yeah. I think I'd rather keep this one and... Um, this thing's damage is so good, though. I think I'd rather keep this one and make another to re-roll. But we've basically got everything... Oh, I forgot the, um... We don't have the Sorcerer Emblem. We do have the Summoner Emblem, though. I think I'll put it in here. I think we're past shark tooth necklaces, probably. But I won't toss it out just yet. Uh, but yeah. We've got summoner damage. And summoner gear. Let's re-roll the emblem. Plus four something. Not quick, though. I do value movement, but I'm usually looking for damage or defense on accessories. Uh, but yeah, that's almost another 20% extra minion damage. 
Fantastic. Crystal Storm is definitely one of the best belly hard mode weapons, though. Rapid fire like crazy, bounces, high damage, low mana cost. This is what I use to kill Duke Fishron if we're going to do it early. Where do I want to put our artificial corruption biome, though? I want it contained, of course. And I want it underground so that we can benefit from fishing and spawning certain enemies. And I want it somewhere accessible, but not, not going to spread and wreck our stuff. I think I need to explore more, honestly, to find a good candidate. Or maybe, like, over here? Except it's too dangerous to go there at this point. Where is it least dangerous? Oh, I can mine Adamantite, can't I? Uh, did I get enough Orichalcum? I completely forgot about this. No, I need, like, probably five more Orichalcum to get the pickaxe. Eighteen? That's not a very small number. Alright, uh, where else are we getting Orichalcum, then? There's a little bit. There's a decent... Eh, it's kind of a small chunk. There's even more over here. The entrance to that portal is actually way over here, so never mind. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just try... Cowardly Mining. I think I'll take the Crystal Storm instead of the Pistol. That makes a ton of sense. It's the same damage per shot. I can believe that. Alright, let's prepare a little bit. Uh, Spelunker... Why am I still carrying boss fight potions? I'm not doing a boss fight for a minute. Let's stack these away and figure out what we're actually going to carry. A red potion might be handy. I never actually use them for boss fights because we're just going to lose a 30 minute buff. Let's see what we get. Endurance, archery, mana regen, that's kind of meh to be honest. I was hoping for a 30 minute Spelunker. Mana regen doesn't hurt when we've got Crystal Storm on us. Oh, I definitely want a Calming Potion. Do I even have any more Damselfish? We do, quite a lot actually. Is that what we need for Calming Potions? Mr. Guide. Yes, it is. We need Daybloom and that. Am I just blind? Oh, we have no Daybloom. Well, there's your problem. I kind of end up taking Daybloom for granted. Doubly so. And let's plant some random Daybloom all over the place, why not? End up picking it up by accident. Light of the Owls.
Fantastic. Oh, that is a good combo. You get juggled by the spiders and the crystal storm. Okay. Damsel fish becomes farming potion. Fantastic. That I may have gone a little overboard with that one. Just a just a tad. But what the hell? I'm gonna want calming potions while we're in early hard mode. This seems fine to me. Oh. Uh, Danger Sense, Hunter, Spelunker. And... And go. I think I just went past some... Tier 3 metal, actually. No, I think it was Palladium. Right, we're almost there. That is our little portal. And we've got some stuff down this way. Don't particularly want to say hello to the spiders. Or this thing, for that matter. Okay, this thing gets knocked back almost too easily because it makes it take longer to kill it. Is this what this fairy is showing me? Yeah, it is. Couldn't care less about gold at this point. Spiders actually have trouble attaching themselves to this one. Or maybe it's because of the terrain. That is a mimic. Get him. Get him. Cross necklace, good start. Alright, let's see if we can find some more medals. Very carefully. You have trading posts? What do you mean by trading posts? Wow, this is actually pretty effective. Can I hit this guy? No. Is this a trap? Yes, it absolutely is. There we go. What do we get? Nothing too exciting at this stage. Oh, is that uh, adamantite? It is too. It's not much. Is that also adamantite up there? Could this spot potentially be worth marking? I'm going to come back here anyway. I'll see it later. that plink root, why not? Lots of adamantite this way, actually. Ouch. That's actually just orichalcum, but this is adamantite. Fantastic. There's a Glowing mushroom biome nearby. This is also adamant. Go away, bat. Holy crap. 
almost clapped by the awkward movement. Okay, alright. Let's put this in here somewhere. Do I not have a place to quick stack dart traps? How about over here? Oh, I wasn't wearing my armor either. That's that would probably help. We got some souls of night. Those can go in here. Spamming villager houses and huts is the best way to get money? What? Don't understand. Infinite money glitch? That doesn't sound that interesting. Uh, I have to go so far down. Actually, while the Spelunker is still active, I believe I saw some... some more medals. Wait, did the Spelunker just run out? Really? Rude. Okay, is that Orichalcum or... I think it's Orichalcum. Fantastic. I do still need Orichalcum after all. There's a little bit more. Oh, there's a good chunk. Okay. Drill mode. I don't care if I'm vulnerable. This is so much faster. Is that it? No, oh, we're good. Only trouble is, if I want my maximum minion count, I have to pass this again after I switch back from it. Fantastic. Let's see how much we've got. Okay, 166 ore, that sounds good. We have 48, I'm pretty sure that's enough. For our pickaxe, fantastic. And now we can mine everything, as far as we're concerned. Uh, I won't be selling this just yet. I could consider making a weapon with it. Memes, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I mean, no, you were here before. Dope. Uh, what have we got? A repeater, 56 range damage, it's not the worst. Honestly, I think I just want to go straight for the tier 3. So now we need that uh, adamantite, nope. which can be a bit harder to find. So we're looking for a dark red, but often we'll see Orichalcum and think, that's that's adamantite. It's not. The blood moon is rising. I don't think I want to be doing any blood moon fishing just yet. So is that what we're looking for? We got blocked by something we will be looking for later. Fantastic. I think we need like 30 or so bars, at least. That's our calcum, that's our calcum. That is not adamantite. 
Okay, there was some to the left down here, right? Okay, 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 okay. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. Let's get some regen. Actually, let's make sure we've got our buffs active. Don't underestimate this place. I think that's our Calcum. Yeah, it's not dark enough. take a little bit more. Oh, here's some adamantite. Give me that. And let those guys have some fun with the lava. anything good, did they? Nope. Why do I have no light? There we go. Oh, I've run out of Night Owl potions as well. That's not great. Oh, I think up here there was... Yeah, here we go. My Spelunker potion ran out again as well. Rude. Oh, these things. These things are nasty. <laughs> oh, those things are very nasty. I don't want to be on the same screen as that. Nope. Uh, that might be adamantite, though. Let's head down this way. Fantastic. How about a mining potion? That makes a lot of sense. That's more like it. I think it is our calcum though. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's adamantite. And that's the enemy that I don't want to see. Ooh. Oh god. You as well. Okay, at least the skeleton archers... Honestly, with For the Worthy, I was expecting the skeleton archers to potentially one-shot me. Considering they how hard they normally hit. Uh, we're not... In that much trouble. Uh, let's get some health back first. whip, because why not? Oh, we're down to hell. Uh, sometimes, sometimes the underworld is a good place to find adamantite, actually. It's also, weirdly enough, one of the safest places in early hard mode. Before the stronger demons start spawning. Okay. 
Let's get the rest of this admin fight. And then maybe have a peek and see how much we've got. Oh, that was gonna hurt, yeah. Now we've got some Pearlstone and Pearl Sand as well. Oh, that's a bomb. Not gonna lie, I was hoping you'd miss catching the doll. <laughs> I mean, it would have been content. <laughs> Oh, there's the Tormented Soul as well. Let's keep going this way. Oh, hello. That's what I want to see. Did you just try to shoot at me through that gap? I love this spell. I call it the Mana Minigun. our void bag. It's completely full. Okay. In that case. Oh, it's... Oh, no. It's the blood moon. I don't want it. What time is it? 3 a.m.? We can vibe with the blood moon till for one minute, I think. Actually, this is the perfect time to do this. Ouch. I think I've got a water candle here. Yeah, I do. I need to remember to turn that off uh, when we're getting a pirate invasion or something. Oh, that hurt. Wow. Wow, that actually really, really hurt. Okay, that's... That's not what I want to hear. Nope. No thank you. seconds. Or does it count as a new day at 4.30 a.m.? Is that just... yes, yes it does. Okay. It's over. We're fine. Cool, cool, cool. And there's ten of those random day blooms I was talking about earlier. Alright, what do we got here? Tiny Beam Sword. Well, isn't that nice? What do we have in the Void Bag? Treasure Bag King Slime? Lol, we got to empty that. This is gonna take some clicking. Beam sword can go with the melee stuff. Oh, wait, hold on. Doesn't, uh... Flasks affect whips, yeah. Why don't we go with... Gold dust. Uh, just five of these gives us 20 minutes of enemies giving us more gold. What is that? Flask of Echo. Okay. 
assuming we tag the enemies with melee. Uh, that's not going to be much of a problem most of the time. Didn't we have bars as well for adamantite? Yeah, we've got 13. Good start. We need an adamantite forge. Uh, I guess I had a hellforge in here. Yeah, I did. And then we have forty-two bars. I think that's like ten or twelve or something short of what I want. Ten plus twenty is thirty. Forty-six. We're five bars short for the frost set, and I think it's the exact same cost for the forbidden such and such. It's only early hard mode where you get a few decent um, hybrid sets. This is good for any kind of physical damage, melee or ranged. This is Mage plus Summoner. And the gear that you get from Queen Slime, uh, if you make the full set, is ranger plus mage. Well, it's kind of class agnostic, except it gives you 10% reduced mana, 10% reduced ammo consumption. But the damage type is totally class agnostic. I don't know if I have a ninja shirt so far, actually. What else do we want to sell? That's a lot of palladium ore. Oh, we got a poison stuff. That's not the worst. Get out of here, guys. Uh... We'll combine these to get a better price. I should just put a table here. Actually, no, the, all the stuff is back here. Okay. What else have we got? Don't know how many frog legs we actually need. Should have just favored that to show that I didn't want to sell it. Ninja shirt is basically just vanity. Here. Some of these day bloom haven't been planted. There we go. Full sand go in here, I think. Silt goes over here. What does the poison staff upgrade to? And does it pierce? I think it might. Uh, Chlorophyte Bars makes it a Venom Staff. And the stats are almost the same. It's a pretty awkward weapon in my opinion, though. I, I don't use it. But... 
demon banner. Not too worried about. Where's my banner collection? Last hopes of man? Banner? What? Lost hopes of man. I see. Did I get that from a demon town or something? Hold on. Did I get two poison staves? I did. Okay, sure. Uh, hey, now we can put a... Where's the sawmill? We can put a little symbol here above the alchemy table. Let's make it face this way. Nice. Man's chest. Bell stone. And a random table. Alright, is our inventory clear now? Almost. Lip of potion can go in here, I guess. Oh, I got some eco without even noticing. Also, I should replace my night owl potions. And eco can go in the hard mode, etc. If I had good gear for killing the wall of flesh, I'd do it again. But summoner's probably the worst possible option here. I don't think we're ready for any mech bosses. No, I think I just want to keep getting metal. That'll probably do for now. And we'll just keep digging this way. Another band of regen. Why not? Alone. Oh, that's Crimtane. What a tease. And that's Pal uh, not Palladium, the other one. Mithril equivalent. your soul. That too. But most importantly, your gold. Did you know that if you press Alt F4 you get this amazing glitch in Terraria? Wow, I should try that sometime. Did my mining potion run out? So I only need, like, 40 more adamantite or so. Let's call it 60 to be safe. Well, that's for one of the hybrid sets. a lot of sapphire.
I want to tag everything with melee so I get the extra gold. That is another chest. Do I want to just drain this down here? Why not? Let's go. Seems good. Oh, rip that corner of the house. How is he dying? Oh, lava? Imagine dying to lava. Especially if you're made of, well, I guess granite would probably... I'm sure oxygen not included, we could look at the stats. And predict that. Yeah, it's just a little bit more... Adamantite. Gimme. Oh, these guys can be a problem, I forgot about that. I'm getting very comfortable already with this uh, set of gear. That was a trap, right? What was it connected to? Oh, it's probably a lava... Yup. Lava fall. I should probably turn that um, display on. Yeah, that's a good idea. This is not what we're looking for, but I'll take it. some top-notch jokes, indeed. We're here all week. I don't want to go in the spider bone. What? What? Why would I do that? Okay. I'll go a bit further before I activate the next Spelunker. That's a lot of gold. Oh. Oh no, the gold! No, 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 no. Oh. Did we lose gold to the lava? Does that happen? Probably. Right, Spelunka Potion. Let's look for some more adamantite. Oh, is that it? Adamantite doesn't get wrecked by lava, I'm pretty sure. We can all pick it all up within seven seconds anyway. That's a big open area. Oh, what was... oh, frickin' geysers. Even with the danger sense potion, it's hard to see it there. Okay. Is that one tile of adamantite? It's palladium, actually. That's a gold chest. Could be a trap. I don't see any way it could be actually. It's crimtain down to the right. Oh, that little bit there is adamantite. Hmm. 
When did I pick up this pet? I wonder. Things sure are going smoothly since the uh, spider armor. I might have to try for it early game, uh, early hard mode more often in the future. Although, since my whole thing is early fish run. I mean, we can use the spider armor while we're getting stuff ready for fish run, I guess. do we even have at this point? That does not appear to be a trap. And that does not appear to be adamantite. Pretty sure that up there is palladium as well. care if this gets lavaified, but... Oh. Oh, figures. Okay. The silt knocked me back onto the switch. There we go. Even more spiders. Even more geysers. Why did the auto swing not get it? Bruh. That's our calcum. Hmm. We got forty seconds left. It, wait, is that a Mimic? I think it is. Yes. What do we get? Star Cloak. Nice. That's oh, not bad, anyway. Oh. I should probably have a Hunter Potion. Wait, did I just, like... Did I drink every buff potion in the piggy bank? Well, that's a bit wasteful. Oh well. Let's make the most of it. Uh, no, because then I would have had Spelunking active. I don't think I did do that, but look at all these... Archery? Yeah, I think I did? Except... Maybe I had like two seconds left on the Spelunking Potion, that's why. Ooh, Strange Plant. Gimme gimme. Some spider is having a bad time. I don't think we need any more spider fangs. That's a Wraith statue. Do we have room? We do not. Alright, what are we dropping? A uh, throwing knife. Just arrows, pretty weak at this point. I'll take the blink root seeds, that's actually quite a lot for blink root. Don't care about the detonator or geysers. Oh, is that what we're looking for? Up there? It is not. It's 
It's actually taking a very long time to find this. Oh, hello. Oh, he's going to die now. No, wait. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Rattles Magoo. You're welcome. And sorry. Uh, by all means, let me sell you stuff. Um, anything I want to sell him from the void bag? Probably. Don't care about tungsten bullets anymore. Dynamite. Oh, I have a night vision helmet. Wait. Does that? No, I don't think it does. I don't think he gives us any money for this. Nope. This is fine for now. Rattles Magoo. It lists him as a rare enemy. Bruh. He's not an enemy. I definitely get the feeling that this stuff, this uh, moss that grows on the stone, is what we need to use to make different coloured versions of the bob uh, for fishing. But I don't know how to do it. There's some adamantite. Fantastic. And while I've got two minutes left on the potion, why don't we... Oh, first let me grab this little scrap of... Adamantite. Oh, and that big scrap of Adamantite. I think it's Adamantite. Oh, wait, is this... Oh, that's nothing. Gimme, gimme. Beautiful. Alright, while we've got like a minute or two left on the Spelunka potion, I would like to teleport randomly. Okay. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that. No, no thanks. Uh, this is... This is part of the dungeon that we haven't seen. Oh. Well, that's information. We have some purple moss. Oh, I can dig through this now, I forgot. But I'm not interested right now. Spiders? No thank you. We're actually kinda safe in here as long as as long as we can see the edges. Oh my Spelunker ran out as well. Alright, that'll do for now. It helped us? Spamming's not going to help with that. Indeed. Can I request a timeout? Uh, yeah, I think that's not unreasonable. Okay. Can I... Ten minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Let's go put this stuff away. Statues, I believe, go in here. Um, we should be able to upgrade this mining helmet now. Not that I'll ever use that. Where's our guide? Oh, he's over here. Ultra bright helmet. It's basically 
Shine plus Night Owl Potion in Helmet form. But the downside is you have to wear the helmet. Four defense and no set bonus. It's kind of... That's kind of no thanks, for the most part. Although, it's probably more defense than this. It's the same defense as this gold helmet, so why not? Ancient gold helmet. Let's keep that for posterity. Uh, what was I doing? Let's sell the magic mirror. Need to hand in the strange plant. How many things can I combine a star cloak with? I know I can combine it with the cross necklace that we've already got. Um, I also kind of like the mana cloak. Although we've already got the the one that combines with the magnet. Oh, I forgot. Stars restore mana when collected. Yeah, that's kind of good. <laughs> Causes stars to fall, releases bees, and douses the user in honey. That's not bad. If you want to make a build that specifically beats enemies by having them run into you. Alright, let's make some more hot lanterns, emerald, gem corn. I can't be bothered running them downstairs. Uh, let's just put them in here. Oh, that's where all these ninjas, ninja gear things went. So we have the full set now. Fantastic. Sell the rest. Strange plant. Fabulous, wonderful friend. With this delicate specimen, I may mix the most amazing dyes of sacred gulf of the the sacred gulf of the king has ever seen. You may take this one right away. Shadow flame Hades. Damn. That's a bit extra. Is there anything I could put it on? How about the wings? That's kind of wild. I kind of like that, actually. Usually, I don't find much use for these sorts of things. Okay, I don't think we're going to be using the Hive Pack anymore. The Merchant was slain? Oh, the Traveling Merchant. Where was he? I... I don't even know... where on the map he was. Um, somewhere out there there's a hat... for us to collect. I wonder how he died. Oh, I bet he was over here. Yep. <laughs> he tried to visit the, uh, the undersea dome. And I, I bet you anything what happened was what I saw some other NPCs like the, uh, the angler doing previously is he'd walk down this way. And then when he gets this far, he'll jump for some reason instead of just walking through the door. I bet that's what happened. And now we have a peddler's hat. Let me just turn this back on.
The ocean is looking a bit empty. On this end. We can always fix it, but still. I think I will fix it. Where's my water bucket? Did it get quick stacked in here? It did. Okay. I definitely want a flat surface here for when we fight Duke. This is a lot of water. Maybe I'll use water tube to fix this. If that still works. Okay. Headless hat in the vanity stuff. Uh, shadow flame die can go in this chest. Giant bow, get out of here. And... I just thought of something. This thing doesn't... can't go in a vanity slot or anything. No. Oh, it's a material. What does it turn into? Diamond minecart? I wasn't expecting that. Um, let's try it. I need a regular minecart. How do I make it? Oh, here it is. Iron and wood. And then diamond minecart. Okay. We're going to lose our seven seconds of immunity to lava. Not because we've got it on our boots. And it doesn't stack. Let's see what this looks like. I wonder if it's a light source. Okay, that's, I guess, about what I should have expected. It is a bling minecart. And little else. Alright, I kind of need to know, though. Does it a light source. It doesn't. I thought it would at least give off a little glow. Oh, it does. Not a whole lot, but it's not nothing. Alright. What's next? Good question. Don't need a palladium pickaxe. Could explore the dungeon more, but don't really see the point right now. Um oh yeah, the uh adamantite. How much do we have? Probably enough? Ooh, a hundred. Okay, so I believe it was 50-something to get one of the 10, 30, 46. Now we need three frost cores and or three forbidden fragments. The frost cores are relatively easy to get, but we have to go to the snow biome, uh, I think at night in a blizzard. 
Or I don't know if it has to be at night. Um, when there's a lot of wind, you get sandstorm slash blizzard, and we need to be in those two things to get the fragments. We also need to survive uh, a giant ice golem that shoots lasers at us, but we've got the perfect perfect gear set to deal with that by not maintaining line of sight. This is a very small desert, actually. Um, I hope... Oh, that's crimson. Oh, I need to make sure that doesn't spread. I was going to say, I hope we have a desert uh, that's convenient that I can use for... just farming things. Regular things. How many other deserts are there on this world? Um, I think... Well, that's the ocean. I don't know if that would sort of act like a corrupt desert. Alright, let's make sure that the crimson isn't going to spread here. Because I think I would like to keep this desert neutral, if not hallow. Oh, up! Oh. Wow. Okay. Derpling does exactly 400 damage. And we we just barely saw the jungle as well. They spawned the instant that there were jungle tiles nearby. I wanted to go over here and confirm that the crimson wouldn't spread this way as well. Um, but especially here, I fear it'll drop down with the vines. I can't believe it literally one-shot me. Oh, that's... is that the derpling that killed me? It actually is. Get out of here. Oh, oh, my, my mana ran out. That's... that's not a good way to die. Okay. I should probably reactivate the... oh my god, 300 damage and it should have been dead. I should probably reactivate the weather display. There it is. Because we need to know when it's raining. I'm pretty sure it has to be raining to get the snow um, that'll spawn the ice golems that we need. For one of my favorite armor sets. Um, and we need to know if it's really windy for the desert equivalent. I think that is just under weather. Alright, I'm going to take a little break here. I'll be back in a few minutes. Throw up some words on stream in the meantime. When did I get mummy pants? No, it's just a vanity item anyway. Also, also, how much does regular adamantite armor cost? 12 plus 24 is 36, plus 18 is 54. It's a little bit more. Wait, 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 wait. 54 plus what? If we've got 100 spare... Ten, thirty, forty-six. You're kidding. 
12, 36, 54. We can make both. Just barely. Alright. Uh, but there's no summoner set for Adamantite. Hmm. Uh, if I was going to make Ranger or something... Well, I could go Mage. The damage is actually going to be less than Media Armor, but we'll obviously potentially be able to survive one hit. Something to consider. We can afford any two sets in terms of Adamantite cost. But I wouldn't have the spare bars to make a repeater or something. Alright. Let's throw up the old words on the stream. Once it loads. We'll start that in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. All right, let's continue, shall we? Let's put this stuff away. And unfortunately, to my knowledge anyway, uh, there isn't any way to force rain or a blizzard. Actually, I do remember something. It's not forcing it, but supposedly every single time you kill a f ladybug. Do I have ladybugs? I have a lot of ladybugs. Killing a ladybug is bad luck. And... Uh, strangely enough, bad luck includes increasing the chance that it will rain. So we just have to murder ladybugs and apparently an owl. Uh, let's maybe not murder the owls as much. So I forget the actual odds. It's not like we're guaranteeing it's going to rain tomorrow. Um, we're not even necessarily increasing the chances by that much. But it's something. It's all we can do. Finally a murder-friendly stream? Oh no. Um, I'm never ever wearing mummy pants. Let's just... I think they sell for zero as well. Nope, half a gold actually. Oh, let's do the Eye of Cthulhu with the, um, with the spiders. I want to see just how, how much they break. I'm going to go hands-free for this one if I can. Oh, he's already half dead? I wasn't expecting that. Damn. They did fall off of the eye for a minute there, somehow. Oh. Pickles. Well, that was fairly easy. I, I dare say I could probably do it again. Get in there, minions. Oh, I forgot to turn this back on. There we go. That'll do. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Caught in surface hallow. I don't think we have any surface hallow. Oh, we do. Uh, what's the easiest way to get there? Probably this teleporter. I've got one minute to do this fishing quest. I don't think I'm going to pull it off. Especially considering I need to make a pond first. Oh, oh, oh. You are almost invisible. Holy crap. Okay. Where should we make a fishing spot? In the hallow. Okay, not a fan of that. Could you be persuaded to stop? We're not going to get this fishing quest done, obviously. But we can hold out until we stop getting sniped at. 
and then figure out where we're going to put this, um, this pond. Maybe here? That'd be kind of neat, actually. And we'd probably end up with a bunch of pixies stuck below us and unicorns and stuff so that they wouldn't interfere with our fishing. Seems good to me. kind of want to reinforce this little bit here. Even though I know it doesn't actually do anything. Okay, bottomless water bucket. Go. And we just need 300 piles of water with no overhangs or anything to ensure we get maximum fishing power. Alright, let's see if that does it. Fishing power, negative 5%. We're almost there. It still says minus 5. Okay, how about this? I'm sure that's going to be enough. Yep. This is a rather nice spot, actually. Ooh, another rare plant. Let's get it. I'll take that pixie dust as well while we're here. Strange plant. Have we been down here? We've not. That is a chest. Oh my goodness, that's a mimic. I wasn't expecting. What? I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that mimic. Okay, we got a Philosopher's Stone. Nice. That's actually kind of a big deal right now. Because we can combine it with a Bend of Regen. Let me just quick stack first. I think it's the only thing it combines with, actually. Yep. Band of Regen. Cheapest one we have. And we get Charm of Myths. Regen plus Potion Cooldown Reduction. It's kind of a big deal for boss fights. Let's reforge. I've actually got 2.7 plat now. Please get warding or menacing. That'll do for now. Fantastic. Don't date tennis players. To them, love means zero. Wow. 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 I'm going to need a minute to recover from that one. Wow. Uh, let's not kill our NPCs. Red acid dye. Cool. Where, where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, well, that's not bad. Blood for the blood god. Enchanted ones. Go here. Oh, our spiders are still up there. Wait, I don't want 
as easy as it should be to delete him, I don't want King Slime appearing and teleporting on my face while I'm doing inventory management. Ow. Rude. Okay. You can buy this. I think we've already got an umbrella somewhere, even if I had. Have some bunnies. Silt goes here. And bait goes here. Water bottles go here. Oh yeah, that reminds me of an achievement that I noticed. Rip Merchant. If you delay drowning by drinking a bottle of water, you get an achievement for that. Let's make it happen. For my next trick, I will need some water. Preferably somewhere where I can see myself. Oh, I need the bottle of water first. That would help. There we go. Silver Log, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, let's just do it here, actually. Okay. So once I start losing health, I just need to drink the bottled water, I believe. Which should happen as soon as this runs out. With a very, very subtle warning sound. Didn't even hear it, actually. There it is. <laughs> Unusual survival strategies. Beautiful. Mute? What? No, I'm not. Um, should we do a quick king slime? Why not? I don't want it showing up while I'm not paying attention. There we go. I love these spiders. Okay. You're still popping balloon slimes? Fine. Sell this stuff. I thought that was someone lying on the ground for a second there. Alright, I need it to rain. It's still not raining. Oh, Sandstorm Plus? Uh, let's go. Let's go, let's go. That's one of the hybrid sets we can get. Sandstorm Plus, yeah, there it is. Nice. So we just- oh my god, holy cr- Jesus. Um, I didn't realize those could appear on the surface. We're also going to get some shark fins from this. 
if we're lucky. Could I maybe get a heart lantern out for this? Oh, because I should have known that would happen. I was kind of expecting it. Just thought I was being cynical to expect it, that's all. Um, let's heal up real quick. And honey. And can we heal? Yes, we can. I think I just will do that. Okay. I want to put down a little heart lantern to make that area slightly easier. Just a little lantern post. Oh god, she's already showed up. Okay. I mean, the sand elemental by herself is nothing to worry about. But we're going to have to deal with more than just the sand elemental. Almost guaranteed. I didn't know I could lure her... Oh god. Oh no. I didn't know I could lure her away from the desert as a strategy, though. Okay, 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 okay. I should have a gun. I, I do have a gun. Okay. So that's one. We need two more. Forbidden frag. It was the shark! It was under the ground! That's what hit me. Bruh. That's so rude. Alright, we need to get two more of these while there's still a sandstorm. And I need to remember whenever I see slimes on balloons that we can go and do this. If I do run out of time this time. Okay. Up lantern, go. Fantastic. Also, if I stand on the water over here, I'm probably going to be in range of this heart lantern. Uh, but I should have more room and more warning. I also don't get pushed to the left as much. When those worms come. Okay. Same goes for the sharks. I want to make a... something that looks convincing as a lantern. Stand... Uh, kind of like the lanterns I've got back at base. Um, but it has a heart lantern on it and it doesn't really get in the way much. Maybe I could use beams and hammered... Uh, oh wow, my health is much lower than I thought it was. Beams and hammered uh, platforms, perhaps? Star Cannon is... Placid and disappointing, honestly. But at least I don't need mana. You're gonna die now. Thank you. One more. need one more sand elemental. Oh! Sneaky. I should really use a hunter potion here. That would obviously make stuff coming through the ground a lot less tricky to see coming. Oh. This thing's a lot more maneuverable than I might expect. I 
I can't actually hit the sharks when they're underground. bad against them. They're not hard to deal enough damage to. They just come very fast. And usually when you're fighting something else. Ow. 261 damage? Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Lucky for Shield of Cthulhu there. Please tell me we're going to get one more Sand Elemental. That's not a Sand Elemental. How many Shark Fins? We've got two Shark Fins out of all of this. I am upset. Nope, nope, nope. That was an accidental dodge. Holy crap, I should have died there. Uh, double tap dodge is a crappy input. Alright. That regen, though. Between Charm of Myths uh, and the Lantern and the Regen Potion, of course. It's pretty good. Are we really gonna camp here until the wind stops and not get the third sand elemental? Oh, no, I see you, I see you. I can't believe the uh, Star Cannon can't kill that thing in one pass, actually. The, uh, the worm of all things that we get piercing against. And we're actually out of stars now. Alright. The Sand Elemental in and of herself really isn't very threatening. just that it makes it so much more awkward to defend against everything else. There we go. Fantastic. Let's get out of here. I was coughing. I was reaching to cover my hand even though there's no one else here after meeting. While that dastardly worm ran into my back. While I only had one hand here. Beautiful. Alright. Let's make our first... Uh hybrid set. Forbidden musk. Forbidden ropes. Forbidden treads. I think our minion count is going to go down. Oh, it definitely is, but we're going to be better at uh, mage stuff at the same time. 5, 8, 7, 6, 12, 8. We're going to gain a good chunk of defense. 31 to 37, we gained 6. Uh, we've got plus 2 minions. Set bonus is summon damage for this one, yeah. So we're only down by 1 minion. We gain 6 defense. 
Uh, what's the summon damage bonus here? 12 plus 5 plus 5 plus 6. Um, 22, 28% versus... Fifteen percent increased magic and summon damage. Make it twenty-five for summon and twenty-five for magic. That's pretty close. Uh, and we can double tap up to to do one of these weird things. It doesn't cost. Oh, it costs a little bit of mana, not much. It's like twenty or something. And we gain 80 max mana, which means we're, our mana is going to regen faster most of the time as well. Yeah, not a bad set. W Terraria? W Terraria. So I think I will put the spider set away. It's been good, but this will be better. We've still got four spiders out, right? Yeah. Without a summoner potion. Honestly, the look of this uh, Final Fantasy ninja with glowing purple wings and this weird Jojo style stand type thing behind him. Kind of a weird combination. But I'll take it. What's in our Void Bag right now? The old Phase Saber. Okay, so what combination of Summon and Magic do I want? I don't think I do want to bother with the Amarok. Uh, we're not using Star Cannon. I wish I had Laser Rifle from the Wall of Flesh. What weapon did I get from the Wall of Flesh? I got the Summoner Emblem. And I don't... Doesn't it always drop a weapon? I don't remember the weapon. I should remember the weapon. Did I... Did it somehow drop in the lava or something? I don't think it would have. Oh well. I'm not really interested in any weapon from the Wall of Flesh except the laser rifle. It's the different class emblems I'm also after. Let's put the phase saber away for now. And uh, the Amarok also. I want some long-range piercing damage. Uh, space gun's a bit weak at this stage, though. Aquaceptor's not too bad. I should really look for a spell to fill this roll. And I think I'll stick with just the one whip. Uh, maybe a ranged weapon as well, just so I can fire it without mana, unless I want to put in, unless I want to put in some kind of infinite mana thing. I could sacrifice one minion, or double jump, or regen, or dash, no, no. I think I'll just manually consume mana potions, and I will take... Probably Molten Fury. I mean, I could make a better bow right now. 
but that's not going to be like my primary weapon for a while. Alright, what do we do now that we've got the hybrid set? I can't remember if there's anything in the dungeon before Planet Terra. It's worth our time. Why don't we find out? Early hard mode dungeon. I don't remember that being much of a thing. Who is next boss? I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm sure we'll be forced to fight... Well, almost forced to fight uh, mechanical bosses. If I'm going to go for a mechanical boss, I'm thinking uh, the eye, or the twins rather. It's going to be easiest to start with. I could farm up a rod of discord. It could take a while. I need some souls anyway. Gonna be lots of things that need souls. Our knockback and damage is kind of crazy, actually. This is basically just pre-hard mode um, dungeon, but with much stronger gear. I do want to explore the rest of the dungeon. May as well do it while it's easy. I didn't get a water bolt either. I don't think it's really necessary. Traveling merchant has arrived. Is he gonna die this time? Nope. rather relaxing after everything we've been through. I could go for a hunter potion as well, of course, but I'm really not that threatened at this point. It's just what I didn't want to do is that brick. Get back in there. Okay, danger sense potion, if only because these blocks are annoying. It's a dart trap. Let's do sneak. Okay, that's getting a bit rude. chest there. How do I... It feels so strange uh, being surrounded by monsters that actually take damage now.
Didn't even get a slight upgrade to our Aqua Scepter yet. I could go for the Golden Shower. I think that pierces. To fill that piercing roll. That's why I like double jump even while we have wings. Infinite acceleration. Get back there. Is that a mushroom torch? It was. And another handgun. It's not like there's anything left to find in these gold chests. Alright, I think I've seen enough... Um, I know that there's nothing that the dungeon has new to offer, offer us right now. I'm surprised we haven't been hit by an event yet. Mechanical boss or goblin invasion. Goblin invasion would be a good idea. Um, can we trigger that ourselves? I don't think we've got any cloth. It's actually kind of hard to farm it up. We can try and get another gnome and maybe a goblin or ten will show up while we're at it. I don't think that's going to happen. Actually, my spiders would kill the gnome. I could go for some Blood Moon fishing, as long as we don't fight the Dread Nautilus. That's going to be a bit much. Technically, I could try Fish Run. Technically. You know what? I want to see. He'll probably one-shot me. But I want to see if there's anything particularly different about his attack pattern and stuff. Uh, the kind of thing that would affect our strategy, anyway. Should probably re-roll Crystal Storm. Needs to be Mythical. Celestial? Nope. Oh, that was easy. That was surprisingly easy. So let me just check. We've got 25% increased mage damage from this set. Uh, I believe it's 27% from the media set. It is very, very strong for pre-hard mode. It takes a while before you find anything that can actually outdo its damage. But, yeah, this should be fine. Alright, 
Alright, if we're going to fight Duke, we're not using farming potions, that won't accomplish anything. Swiftness, light, heart reach. Heart reach is cheap. There's a small chance of a shark dropping a heart. Rage? I should be really getting rage and damage. But... I'm going to be lazy. Flip a potion in case we dip into the water. We don't get slowed down. Um, grab potion, of course. We don't need a featherfall potion. We need to be falling fast almost all the time. Endurance potion, of course. Archery potion. We're not using bows for this one. We're going ma magic damage. Uh, mana regen and magic power, for sure. Summoning potion? I guess if it has one more spider stuck to the boss, if that's in fact what happens. And it couldn't hurt. Don't need gills. Alright. This is a little half-assed. I also don't have any... Um... Any bacon. Can we afford that? Yeah, we kind of can. Party in the graveyard? Let's throw, like, one plat into bacon. Can't fit this here? Okay, there we go. We do get a fraction of it back. There we go, one bacon. Fantastic. We, we got one bacon out of all of that? That's kind of rough. Alright, take your flask of party and your party bullets back. I might keep the bullets, actually. I missed the traveling merchant. Whoops. Probably not the best idea to do this at night. Oh, it's raining! It's raining, it's raining, it's raining. Let's go. Uh, let's go get our... Our frost cores. It's raining, men. Oh, I have a light source from the armor set, it looks like. Yeah. Well, that's handy. I don't need a shine potion as long as I'm wearing this. Cool. Let's put those away for now, I suppose. Alright, I don't want to waste all of these... Uh, boss potions. Uh, we should try and be a bit safe. The air is getting colder around you? No, this is the worst timing. Oh no, it's super bad timing. Can we kill one of these at least? Nope. Okay, that was a good shot. Grisu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I can't believe... I can't believe we've got one of the mechanical bosses trying to pick a fight. Literally the moment that we can go and get, um, literally the moment that we could go and get Frost Cores. And then one of the golems shows up right in front of my face just as I'm facing down that fact. It's very rude. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. 
Um, is the boss still going to come, or have I just wasted all of my potions? If it's not going to come, I want to be in the ice biome. I think it shows up at 9pm, right? Could be wrong. Oh, here it is. It's Skeletron. I forgot. I thought it was the uh, twins for some reason. Oh, and I don't have automatic mana consumption. That's not great. Well, I'm just going to have to get in the habit of pressing G. A lot, apparently. What the fu- No! No, that's not okay. No. He's wrecked my base. Every time I fight him, the entire landscape's gonna get- I'm not okay with this. You don't do that. Look at the- I am very upset. This is... this is not okay. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to cover a portion of the map in anti-explosion tiles from the dungeon. Except I saw some of those bombs fall through the land. Like, look over here where I died. I, I, one of the bombs like dropped through the ground. This is disgusting. Oh, go away, gnome. Why is there a gnome here? What? <sighs> Guess I'll start putting it back together. Jesus Christ. I obviously didn't do a very good job dodging him over here. I was too horrified. At what he's done. My whole base is messed up. Well, at least it's only the top layer. But still. Absolutely disgusting. I can't believe you've done this. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I'm actually going to have to make, uh, the gimmick is supposed to be arenalist, but I can't see myself not making a long platform of dungeon tiles just so that they don't blow up. Assuming that Skeletron Prime will not blow up dungeon tiles. I certainly hope not. Does that mean the Moon Lord, every time he fires his laser, is just going to cut a swath through the landscape? Am I a fool for building nice things on this seed? Is that how it is? 300 damage, really? Uh, let's get some of this wood wall back where it belongs. Oh, I bet that dirt tile right there was something similar is how the gnome was able to spawn, but I'm really surprised it could spawn here of all places. Ah, my lovely base. I wouldn't call it a masterpiece or anything. I try to find a balance between easy to make, because building stuff in Terraria takes too damn long, uh, but also nice looking. Can't believe you've done this. Where am I? 
three bricks. Here, here they are. Let's get some minions out. You know what? I'm actually glad that I died as quickly as I did. Because if I'd held on to life, I would have just left craters all across the map. I don't want that. If it's possible uh, to use dungeon bricks, as I have over here, because in this seed, uh, when you whack a tree, there's a good chance it'll drop a bomb. Like this. Um, I'm hoping these dungeon bricks will be immune to Skeletron's bombs as well. I don't see why they shouldn't be. I'm going to have to wait for the grass to grow back. Um, but yeah. It won't exactly be an arena, it's just that... It's just that I'm going to want to put dungeon tiles under a sign. Oh, it's still raining. I should take advantage of that. Um, I guess the NPCs are safe enough. I've picked everything up. Now it's personal? It kind of is. And the moon glow is not going to grow back in, t in five minutes either. Uh... But yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to make a big, like, bridge just above the surface somewhere. Just for killing Skeletron Prime. And I'd better kill him two or three times back to back to make sure I don't have to do it again. I don't really want to have to leave that arena lying there. Arena, well, ish thing, kind of. Ruining your roof? Real shit, right? Oh, I didn't even see you there. Alright, now it's on. Actually, he can't even get up here. This is why I chose these minions for this task. Thankfully, only one ice golem can be on the screen at a time. At least I've never seen two of them at once. I'm not going to take a whole lot of unnecessary risks here. It's relatively quick to kill one of these things. Couldn't ask for a better natural spot to own him. I just realized we might not have time though, I have to hurry. I don't know if they only spawn at night. I don't think that's the case. Deerclop spawns at midnight. These guys can spawn anytime as long as it's a blizzard. Pretty sure. Oh, we got the rain song. Considering just how rare a spawn these golems are, it is ridiculous just how quickly the last two spawned. I 
I should pro- oh, there he is. Alright, I need to get the spooders on him. Which means... Run past him? Is he not gonna laser if I shoot him a lot? No, he is. Gotta make sure I'm moving relative to his position. If I'm gonna do that. I think the timing of his laser changes as well, so you have to be extra careful. Oh, now he's stuck down there. I approve. Keep orbiting him, yeah. If he was the only threat that he had to face at a time- Oh, we got the wings as well, nice. Uh, if he was the only threat you had to face at the time, it'd be pretty easy, but you gotta watch out for running into other things. Just need one more. I'm so glad the top layer of my base is pretty simple to replace and didn't have anything like precious or anything. I mean, I'm pretty sure chests with stuff in them, or just chests in general. Like, if I covered the entire top of the base in chests, I'm pretty sure it would be immune to Skeltron's bombs. Um, obviously I would prefer not to do that. Golden. Oh yeah, it tells us if there's rare creatures nearby. So even if he's off screen, once this text says ice gone, we'll know. We'll probably know by the sound of a laser before that though. The spiders are just really, really good. The only trouble is they're sometimes a bit reluctant to attack something. Okay. Transversal. Don't know that word. Oh, that's a that's a bird. What is a cardinal doing here? Why is it so hard to find the last golem? Please don't stop raining before we find him. I bet if it was the twins, we wouldn't have had that uh, terrain damage either. How can restaurant ran out of smash burgers but have double smash burgers available? What is a smash burger? Come on, one more golem. If it stops raining, I will be upset arose. Especially considering we almost could guarantee that we would have had time if not for the boss showing up. Defeated 50 of these things now. I swear to God, if you stop raining before you spawn one more golem, 
I'll never forgive you. Maybe I should grab a battle potion. I've got one left. Nope, there he is. Right after I took the battle potion. Alright, we've already got a spider on him as well. He is Dunsky. He's never getting line of sight to us. And it stopped raining. Holy crap. Lucky. Well, not exactly lucky, but close. Um, I could bounce Crystal Storm down there, I think. Maybe. A little bit. The terrain is not great for it. Hmm. This is a moment where I really wish it didn't force you to waste mana. If you want to get double hits out of the, um, Flame Lash around the corner. It's basically doubling the mana cost. Alright. There it is. Let's go. Do I have, um... Let me just get this back in place at least. No, oh, I don't know where it is. Never mind. What was I gonna do? Rain Sun can go over here somewhere. Let's grab our frozen set. Frost helmet, frost breastplate, and frost leggings. For probably the best defense you'll ever have as a ranger for where you're up to. Um, but yeah, very cool set here. All of our physical attacks get Frostburn added to them, which also acts as a light source. Uh, let me just find something... How about... I need a regular weapon. Okay, just a regular melee weapon. Something that doesn't spit magic swords or something. Oh my god. Where are they? Where are they? Here we go. Katana. A katana is now a light source. It's very... it's very nice. And Frostburn is applied to everything that you hit with physical damage. It's a very nice little quality of life thing. So we've got the two strong hybrid sets. Uh, I wanted to carry this thing with me at all times if I'm wearing this armor. Should probably have swapped these two if I was going to try to fight Skeletron. Um, but yeah. It's actually about time to finish up. I have got a bunch of work to do to clean up this mess. Not that much, actually, at this point. I need to figure out where my statues went. Grumble, grumble. Uh, and see if I can come up with countermeasures. Probably... If it's not going to be pink dungeon bricks... I guess I could do... A thick layer of dirt or something. Um, I don't suppose the bombs would fall slower through water? 
I need to find some way to avoid turning the entire planet into a bunch of craters with this boss fight. Paper airplane. Let's go. Beautiful. That one's still going. Uh, but can I pick that up again before it lands? Nope. Okay, I'm not going into the desert for the paper plane. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'll be doing some more fishing, maybe house building, stuff like that, off stream potentially, but I definitely won't be fighting any new bosses or anything like that without it being streamed. I've obviously got some work to do to clean this up. Let's see who's streaming uh, Terraria today. We've got quite a lot to choose from, actually. We've got some big person visiting the Terraria space, it looks like, and a whole bunch of tiny, tiny streams. Thanks for the chill stream. Thanks for hanging out. Vex or Navy issue. Take care. See you next time. The giant eyeball must be seeing red at this point. Challenge run? What's the challenge? I see... Oh, hardcore expert. Fair enough. Should we go for hardcore expert? Kind of the opposite of what I'm doing. Overpowered, and definitely not hardcore. Awesome cat, take care, thanks for hanging out. Alright, I could spend a while trying to pick one, let's just go with this. Unless it's followers only chat or something. Wait, it's been paused for ages, by the look of it. Stream starting soon? Oh, okay. Sure. Paste this, there we go. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints of Factorio if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. We'll be continuing with uh, Long War of the Chosen in a couple of days. After that, it's oxygen not included, and then uh, three days of Factorio Space Exploration Crestorio 2. See you next time.